you know what time it is, buddy? Fever time. Yeah, man! Welcome, everybody, to another Fever Hour. Tonight's topic, all things slashers. And with me tonight, as always, my favorite people, we got Dana Marie and Benda42. What's up, guys? How you doing, Dana? Benda? Good. Loving that intro. Loving that intro. The intro was very powerful. (laughs) <laughs> yeah you know I, we had to change it up a little bit the fever song as much as i love it it's not it's not quite available <laughs> so change it up a little bit i thought yeah, it was very awesome. beautiful it was it was oh, awesome yeah. yeah i enjoyed it a little bit you know we might do some other things i'm I'm liking doing these little video clips so who knows what the future holds for okay, clips <laughs> But yeah, guys, welcome, welcome, and let's see, welcome to the chat, of course, hell to you, let's see who we got tonight joining us to talk all things slashers, I know I'm excited, let's see who we got. Oh, I'm so excited. I know you are, Dana. (laughs) (laughs) Miss Dana, she is our clip master for the week, she did, I would say, over 90% of the clips for tonight, so we will be thanking her later for all the beautiful Slashiness. Do you have the clip of Chucky with the ruler in, in Child's Play 2 when he says, you've been very naughty, Mrs. Kettlewell, and then he murders her with the ruler? Dana, did you get that one? I didn't pick that one. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. You broke his heart. <laughs> Let's see who we up. got. That's not the one I went for. You That's not up. the one. <laughs> Let's see who we got tonight in the chat hanging with us. What is up, Fuda Cafe? Good to see you, friend. Mr. Von Stugel, welcome, welcome. <laughs> this is a pro Danny team channel. I don't know about all that. Look, y'all keep them Dannys out of here. No Dannys in the chat. <laughs> what is up, Percy? Glad to see you hanging with us. <laughs> what is up, the chairman, Caleb? 
<laughs> oh man, what a Bendis fine friends over there. Yeah, I wouldn't crazy. really call him a friend. He's more of an acquaintance. <laughs> Associate. <laughs> Associate is good. <laughs> we got Ice Queen hanging with us tonight. What is up, Ice Queen? Glad to see you. Bitey, what is up, Bitey? Always happy to see you hanging with us. And that looks like it for now. Thank you, everybody, for hanging and joining us. And we're going to get right into the slashers. And yeah, I know. Talk about how Chucky is number one and he is <laughs> <will be. laughs> I don't Chucky know if he's right number one. Okay, look, Chucky, I do, one enjoy, my I do enjoy Chucky, although since you have to hate on some that I like, I just, I have to feel like I have to kick Chucky across the room a little bit. Well, <laughs> a tiny bit. I mean, I don't know if we're going to get on Chucky right away. I mean, I'm not disagreeing with that, but Chucky is an ambush predator. He, but even <laughs> if it was a one-on-one -on -one match against Ghostface, I'm still certain that Chucky would just whoop his ass up and down uh, every <laughs> I mean, Ghostface gets his ass beat in every movie. He takes a beating worse than his victims. No, he, he look like I said. I like Ghostface. It's not my favorite. I do love me some Ghostface. I think I like the premise of Ghostface better than as far as like it. Like you not knowing who the killer is, and it could be anybody. That's yeah, but creepy. I feel like oh, every man. twist at the end of Scream was not a good twist at you didn't all. Like it's the twist. <laughs> and besides the first one, I kind of forget who the killers are because they're so dumb anyway. Well, it's kind of like Saw, I like five the, well, the and third shit. one was pretty good because it was like her brother was the director the whole time, and he's yeah, basically but basically did everything except killers. for the second one. There's always got to be two killers, and it's got to dilute the, the whole thing. Well, the third one wasn't. Third one was only one killer. Really? I thought there was that one, was her like, brother. I thought there was a second like lady killer in that one. Maybe I'm thinking of part two. Yeah, part two. Part two was the mother and the like the brother or something like that. One was the mother of one of the killers and the other one was like a brother or something. There sure are a lot of psychopaths in that no Sydney Prescott. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot Psycho of psychopaths killers. in this world. I mean, you just never know who the killer might be. <laughs> you just never know if you're sitting next to a psychopath right now. Pretty much. What are the odds? What is this? Is it I swear if it's one in three, I'm looking at both of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, why, are we going to start the list so I could I could berate these movies as we put them on the list? Well, let's let's look at <laughs> we'll start with Child's Play. Let's look at a clip at least. Let's do some. You clips. want me to pull up the tier list because then I just got to jump over to my computer, or do you want to? Oh um, yeah, you, if first? you want to, I'll play some clips and you can. Oh my, you get that set up. Alrighty. We'll start with Chucky because I know, and this I actually let's start with Freddie that way Dana don't have to watch. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Is she really not even gonna watch? Like at least. Nope. Bye. Goodbye. I no mean, I feel like she should be not even included in this whole conversation. Not even giving Freddie a chance. She left the whole call because of Freddie. What a. F <laughs> oh. I mean, we're trying to give this a professional review here uh, and rank these, and she's just leaving because she's afraid. I don't, she knows, of something that's not even fears. scary. Everybody gets scared of something. It's her fear. And what is up? ASD does games. He's asking. Welcome. That's an inside joke that we have. He's not asking you if you're embarrassed. He's asking me. Oh, I figured not. Yeah. But I that was like the first comment I seen. So it was. He's another associate. Say, hey. <laughs> right, well, you, you know. All right. Yeah. Because the pineapple on the pizza. Yep. There we go. <laughs> yeah. So there's, if there's pineapple to be mentioned. Then yeah, I know where they come from. <laughs> What is up, Sophie L? Well, we might as well just play the Freddy clip since Dana ran like a little. Yeah. I don't even know what. <laughs> we'll play the Freddy clip. <laughs> like a little Freddy. titty baby. Which one do you think I got? There's so many. Of Freddy? You got the prime time, bitch? Nope. You don't have? Welcome to prime time, bitch. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> You're going to do you it. I love kidding that. Me? No, I like this one. I love this one. This one's like iconic. Anyone though. from part three is good. Dreamwalkers, that's the one that he turns oh, into, that comes out like of the TV. One, but I like this. You know, we'll just watch it. You'd be fine. <laughs> I mean, Freddie's always creative and good. Yeah. I, I'm part, I don't know. I guess I just like this scene from, because when this movie came out and. Oh, are you going to use a Johnny Depp one? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's classic. 
Yeah, I, I couldn't help it. Look, it was hard to pick, okay? I mean, there's a lot of clips tonight. I had to choose, and that one just for the time, you know, that was pretty No, crazy. that one should be up there. I don't know how many clips you're going to show, but, yeah, that should be up there as top we got five Freddy several Kills movies, for sure. So we kind of just have to do one. That might even be number one Freddy Kill, the one yeah. in the bed. Yeah, so we, we will watch that one. It's my favorite. Well, it's one well, I Are you going to play that? Sh Did you know about the uh, the secret of that clip? The freeze oh, they frame? spun the room? No, no. <laughs> if you freeze frame, frame that clip, like toward the beginning, you could see Amber Heard's crap that you took on the bed. You could see it on Johnny Depp's uh, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so gross. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew that. Oh, man. The secrets you know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But yeah, that's a good one. That's got to be top five. It's, Actually, it's... I would I put that as number one Freddy kill with the prime time close second. Mm -hmm. Is it safe? Well, Y'all need to get this Danny out of here. Look, I'm not completely all the way familiar with Danny, but I know enough. Is it safe? Is, is it is what safe? Oh, yeah. We just finished, Danny. You're good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, but Danny, I don't, I don't know about this Danny. I, I've, I've been told that Danny's not allowed. I don't know. Danny's not allowed? Yeah, because if, if, if he's anti-drugs, then he's not allowed. Drug, drugs are good. Oh, what's he, like, uh, <laughs> strongly against it? <laughs> I, mean, he doesn't, I don't he have the I don't have the clip. I'll, <laughs> you'll have to watch some of um, Jeremy's stuff. <laughs> oh, the one with the heroin needles that he puts in the arms. Uh, <laughs> no, Freddy it's Krueger? a there's this little dummy doll. I believe. Oh man, I'm gonna try to have to explain something I don't even understand. <laughs> <laughs> Dana, <laughs> Dana, do you understand? Dana does. If it's a Freddy uh, Krueger clip, she sure does. Unfortunately, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Did you have I, your, I, I, a, your little discussion about, about Freddy? We're still discussing Freddy. We watched Johnny Depp get stuck through the bed, and we saw Amber Heard's poop that she took on on his bed, <laughs> and then all the blood came out. So <laughs> and no, now I don't know if she's gonna play a second good clip. clip um, no, no, all I have is one of Freddy. I'm sorry. Well, are we gonna rank Freddy now? We're gonna look at the clips and then rank them. Oh well. I'm about to get to my next one. I just okay. I'm F F F as well, Mr. Bender. Do you mind? Is it okay if I do my show? Is well, yeah, right? but I, you know, it's. I was just wondering <laughs> <laughs> what the structure is here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he promotes clean living. Yeah, I assume so. Yeah, no Danny's. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> Wait. So, Dana, you're saying just because you're afraid of Freddy, he gets he goes on tier F as far as slashers. You can't. No, no, he's not. Yep. No, he's going to be yep. A tier F at least. A tier. Dana's, at least. Chat Dana speak. should be Z. banned chat from even speak. voting. I, I'm Dana very confident be. in the chat tonight that they will reign supreme. <laughs> oh, the chat's going to rank as well? I mean, They're, I feel yeah. like Dana's yeah. biased, yeah. like strongly biased. Zero. Well, I'm strongly biased zero. against Chucky since, since you're strongly you're biased. Since you're scared of Freddy, shouldn't that put him at the <laughs> top? Uh, he's A for me, at least. I mean, honestly, he's S tier, uh, you but gotta, I understand you, that I can be first, nice. Freddie is S tier, 100%. And if anybody says anything different, I'm going to be Can we put upset. people in the S tier? Because then I'm putting Crazy Matt in the S tier. What is up, Crazy Matt? Glad Are to we see. allowed to rank people? Crazy Matt just said Stoker's uh, life, which puts him in the S plus movies. tier, Dana. How do you feel about that? <laughs> All right, you want to see your Chucky clip? Will that satisfy you? Yes. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see a little Chucky after a little Freddy. I said talk to me, damn it, or else I'm going to throw you in the fire. You stupid bitch, you filthy <laughs> slut. <laughs> Did you fuck no, with me? Amazing. <laughs> Bitter. <laughs> Sorry, Chucky. Honestly, no. after the first Chucky, it just kind of gets comical. No, the second one is good too. You hush. <laughs> the second one is actually legitimately. I recommend you go no, back. Okay, and watch yeah, all right. Maybe after the second one. The third one just plain sucked, and then it, it just turned a into a comedy funny. act. 
Yeah, it turns into a comedy, which they, actually those are pretty good. But let me just say about that clip that we just saw. I know you can only play like a little bit, but the, the tension and the buildup in that clip that you just showed, like mm -hmm. you missed the whole, obviously you can't play the whole thing. But uh, when she finds out he's working without batteries and just the whole buildup to that. And she says, you know, she's going to throw him in the, say something, I'm going to throw you in the fire. And then that's when he turns like just watching that clip as is kind of funny, but the buildup really yeah, built no, a lot of tension. It, and it was actually scary back in the day. It was no Chucky was scary. Cause I remember also watching another movie. It was um similar premise, but slightly different. And it was, it was called Dolly Dearest. And like yeah, a family. I remember that. You remember that? Yeah. So, yeah, I was out. And then, of course, you know, with Puppet Master and stuff. So, yeah, I was, I didn't like dolls, but I did like Chucky there because Chucky was just funny to me. There was something Chucky's funny the OG. About dolls were scary, though, as a kid. I didn't, I didn't like having lots of little, like, the porcelain dolls and stuff. No. Nah. <laughs> it's like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Especially like, after watching Dolly Dearest, I never again wanted a porcelain doll. Those are just creepy as <laughs> Crazy it is. Mad says, <laughs> Chucky is lame. I just punch kick him. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I was saying before. <laughs> Chucky is an ambush predator. Everybody that gets killed by him is not expecting the doll to be alive. Like, obviously, if you see him coming, you just mm -hmm. give him a good little kick. But. Mr. Von it Siegel is fucking says, creepy. Curse of Chucky was okay. You like Curse of Chucky? All right. It was fucking creepy when the shit's when you see Chucky kind of walking like towards the lady. Like it's just it is creepy. Well, even at the end when they know he's alive and he's all burnt up. Remember that when he's uh, he's burnt walking down the hallway yeah. with the knife in his hand. That was fucking scary. <laughs> you get a simp for Chucky <laughs> so hard. Oh yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, I do like Chucky, but at some point, it's just, it does get very comical. Just I feel like, crazy. actually, a lot of slashes do that, because, mm -hmm. like, um, like, Freddy did that for a little bit, like, just kind of, yeah. not as much as maybe Chucky did, but he got funny. He was he was dropping one-liners like a motherfucker <laughs> for a while. His were funny, but they were also, like, badass. Like, I don't know, man. Freddy's, he's just, he's, I don't, you can't even say nothing bad about Freddy. You do. Well, Dana could, because she's a little noob. <laughs> no, Dana just she's okay. Dana just won't talk about Freddy. We don't. She doesn't like. She doesn't like Freddy. She doesn't like Stouffer's macaroni and cheese. I don't know what her deal is. Oh, I can't talk about my girl like that. That's strike one and two right there. No, it's it's uh, fine. Uh, it's okay because everybody doesn't have to like the same thing. Uh, you know. No, no, they do. They do. That. I don't. I don't want to like Chucky just because you hate on Scream. It's fine. <laughs> What do you mean? Everybody has to like exactly what I like. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? How dare you disagree with me? But as we're getting into it, like just showing Freddy and Chucky, which are very much so just the supernatural style <clears throat> slashers. It's when do we start blurring the line? Because I know me and Dana talked about it. It has to be human origin. But I know a lot of people think something like Leprechaun would be considered a slasher. And so I I'm think curious Leprechaun what everyone should be else up here. Thinks. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I don't want to interrupt. Uh, you, I think Leprechaun should be up here. I don't know. We, yeah. I'd say add him to the list. Is that, we have a clip for Leprechaun. <clears throat> and I was just curious of what the chat thinks. When it comes to slashers, do you include non-human origin <clears throat> like killers? Or how far does it go? Because then you get into, like alien versus predator type, type stuff and home invasion movies and like then the slasher gets even broader in the spectrum but yeah i mean i always liked leprechaun i thought it of it as a slasher but then again <clears throat> i'm not a huge slasher fan i'm very picky on my slashers <laughs> but i don't know i would i, I count it i still want to count it's, it it's not considered it's not considered a, a slasher feature. because the leprechaun didn't start up yeah, that's what best Mr. description Monster creature said. feature. I like that. Yep. No, no, strong disagree. You put a leprechaun in the same league as like alligator or Lake Placid or like Jaws. If you could talk and you're sentient, I don't think that would qualify as a creature, in my opinion. Plus, he kills people and he has lots of sequels, which I feel like those are heavy criteria for slasher movies. Dana, your rebuttal. 
Well, in, in all the research that I've done, there's three criteria that they say counts for slashers. One, they have to be human in origin. If they become supernatural afterwards, that's something different, but they all have to start out as a, as a human. Two, they have to have a body count. So it has to be some kind of a body count that's not just one or two. It has to be in the excess of three. The third is that they can't just kill one person in the entire movie. So like, let's say it, you're, it's like one person that the, is being stalked. Like I know creep is on the list, but a couple of people put creep on the list. But unfortunately, he really wouldn't be considered a slasher because he's only going after one person doing, during the entire movie. Wow. Now, if you're going after one person and and you're killing a bunch of people to get to that person and the body count is up there, you could consider it a slasher. And so like home invasions, you're going into the house, you're, it's a mom and a daughter or just a mom or the sexy girl is being stalked in the house. That's not considered a slasher. But criteria two and three are the same or criteria two makes number three redundant. Because you said criteria two is that at least three people. I'm just need telling to die. you. Yeah, that's what it said. I looked it up too. It was. um. Well, the criteria is fucking stupid, is what I'm trying to say <laughs> in a polite way. <laughs> Whoever wrote well, that criteria is fucking dumb. Because, <laughs> like, okay, I understand, like, the creature part or the human part. Like, I, I get the human part and origin, but when it talks about you have how many victims, or if you're just going after. I mean, I get the body count. There has to be a body count. I get that too, but she said there has to be at least three victims. And then the third criteria was they can't just kill one person. So it's like, you know, yes, I mean? but if they kill a bunch of people to get to that one person, that's something different. It can't just be one person in a house that's being chased the entire movie. Like if there's a party going on and five people are killed, but the end goal is like the Sydney and scream, but a whole bunch of people were killed on the way to Sydney that's considered a slasher. Like if it was just Sydney sitting in the house and the scream dude was just going after her in her house, the entire movie, there's a movie, I forget the name where the, there's a deaf woman and she's being stalked the entire time. And it's just her and the person trying to get to her the whole movie. He doesn't kill anybody else throughout the entire movie. That's not yeah, considered, it's considered would, a stalker movie. He would breach criteria too, though. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, you see what I'm saying, right? I it's, mean, not we got it's not my criteria. It's not our criteria. Yeah, yeah. You know, like it's not better. mine. I'm just telling you. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is, I'm di I'm discrediting the three criteria because they already proved to be f not false. But if okay, two, like I'm just telling you. No, we honestly were trying to figure it out because New we wanted criteria. to try to do a better ranking than we did for the zombies. How about this? <laughs> so we I were trying to figure out at least some basis rules because otherwise, because when we started looking up slashers, even when I started looking them up, I was like, holy crap, the things that are considered slashers. And we mentioned it a little bit on last week's um, show. And just the fact that when you Google search it, the amount of things that actually come up as slashers. And then when you look up the definition of what a slasher is and compare that to the Google search, it's very confusing. How about this? Yes. The criteria is a slasher is whatever Benda says it is. I think that's fair. I think that's <sighs> fair. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't look, know if let's, I can get a board of that Let's Let's make <laughs> them know. happy. Yeah, it's best just to go with it. Yeah, um, we're gonna make them happy. I mean, my criteria are gonna be better than whatever goop. Now, <clears throat> I'm fixing to commensurate this trial here. We gonna see if we can come up with a verdict up in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not so sure yet about that. But we is gonna get back on to these slashes. And I'm let's ready. see what else we got. Let's see what else we got on the list. Okay. I know there was um <clears throat> I like all right, Michael Myers. It's not it's not my favorite, but we have a clip and we are going to show that. I'm ready for it. A low budget piece of shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Classic though. Classic. No, it it is. It's just I I don't like this backstory. For Halloween, so it's not quite my favorite, but I mean, it's iconic in the sense of when I honestly, when I thought of 
slashers, the first thing that comes to mind is either Jason or Michael Myers. Yeah, that's why, like, I don't even like Halloween, but he's, for me, I'd put him in the S tier right away, along with Freddy and Jason and Chucky, just because those are the forefathers. Mm-hmm. But, and you know, Michael, the movie Michael Myers. Itself, but then really what about, just, what about Norman it. Bates? What mm, about Norman mm. Bates? He came before mm. any of them. Actually, by the fucking criteria, would he even qualify? Because doesn't he only kill two people in the first movie? Actually, one. No, he kills one he kills person four. in the first movie. In the first he movie? He kills four. Yeah, I believe so. I definitely I put him. He yeah, he he's four. probably the OOG. Oh, man. <laughs> Crazy. He's just giving it up tonight. Chucky is F tier. That is blasphemous. Ouch. Oh, Ouch. what'd you think of your sofa buddy now? Huh? Crazy is crazy. <laughs> what do you think of your Stouffer's little partner in crime there now? Huh? I respect him for liking Stouffer's, but that's just crazy talk about Chucky. That's just crazy, man. I forgive you, though. It's okay. It's called Crazy Mad, so. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, he's living up to his name. It's in the name. <laughs> <laughs> and so, look, I was going to go harsh on Chucky, but man, that was. Ooh, that's even harsh for what I was gonna go. I, I was gonna put it at like a B or a C just to be mean, but the ain't super hard. I don't think you guys are being very fair. Because <laughs> <laughs> even if you fair. don't like it, even like I don't like Halloween at all. Like I think the movies are honestly, even the first movie, I feel like a shit. But I would still put them in S tier because it's Michael freaking Myers. Are we rating yeah. it off what we think of the movies or how awesome the 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 slasher is? Well, let's see. What do you guys think in the chat? Would you rather rate based off the killer itself, like the premise of the killer, how the killer kills and everything, or the movie itself? By the way, did you hear that they're <laughs> they're fucking restarting the Halloween series again? No, and I'm not interested to find out. I'm, I'm not either. Are but you serious? How could they do that with a straight face? Like, <laughs> Look. You know, the same way they did what they did to Halo, okay? And we'll talk about that, hopefully, before we end the night. Because I'm touch on that. Actually, I, I think it. Michael Myers got it worse than Master Chief, to be dead honest. What they did, we've yeah. had this discussion before. Yeah. What they did to Michael Myers. That even was, I'm offended. And I don't even give a shit about Michael Myers. <laughs> that was straight up disrespect. I don't know, man. That, that, that <laughs> yeah. season finale was pretty rough for Master Chief. I'll just say did that. He, he didn't get his ass kicked by like a 12-year-old. That's what happened to Michael Myers. Got his ass beat. <laughs> pretty much and know. then thrown I mean, into like a wood chipper. Basically. That was actually, I kind of like that part, though. That was the only good part in that movie. Because I get it. It was kind of like a thing. It's like, oh, they keep coming back. So we throw him in the wood chipper, which at the end of part two, they shot him up and everything. And somehow he's still alive. All right, whatever. Yeah. Part three was so fucking bad. First, he gets scalded by a 10 year old. Then he gets thrown through a wood chipper. Wood chipper part was pretty cool, though. Yeah. I just feel like, you know, his backstory. I just don't I understand it, but I don't, I guess, like it. So I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't want to understand it because it just put the mask on. And now you're evil because you're evil and you can't die. And then I don't know. You just going after his family to kill his family because he's evil now. I don't know. Maybe I didn't watch it enough as a kid properly. <laughs> I'm just remembering <laughs> it the way I remember it. And now during Halloween, no, then, the then they, they brought in the whole. Then they brought in the whole cult thing and made him like a agent of the devil and stuff. And he couldn't die because he had that mark on his wrist and the mark had to be passed to the next one in order for him to die. Like it got a little crazy. Yeah. See, their, their lore doesn't make sense. So I'm, I can't jump on board, but I do. I mean, I like the fact that it's a big dude going around killing folks. I mean, that's pretty cool. They just got to work out the details a little better, and then I can watch it. So if they do the remake, <laughs> just work out those details, <laughs> then I'll be on board. Re re remake. They don't yeah, just the, the like they're not even doing a remake. remake. I think they're going back. The like, but let like, it be no, a reimagine. Let's reimagine yeah. it. Let's do it's that. It's not yours to fucking reimagine. So stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I honestly I hate when they do that stuff. I'm over the whole. Let's recreate the, the stuff over twenty times again. All my classics are coming back, and they're not coming back. You know, end. I got. You know what it's going to be? The new Michael Myers movie is going to be Michelle Myers. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> <It's> on- <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? It was not Michael anymore. <laughs> yes, I uh, just I agree. Well, we just stay away you, from the modern remakes. And, and you okay. know, and with Michelle Myers, she's not going to get her ass kicked by anybody. She will be dominant. She'll be girl bossing everybody around and just dominant. <laughs> There's your modern remake. That's going to be beautiful. <laughs> oh, see, I didn't even think of Devil Rejects as a slasher. See, there's so many that I didn't even consider, and I do love me some Devil's Rejects. I, I like House of a Th- I like all three, actually. I recently watched all three, like a month ago. We went based on what people replied to the post. So if Devil's Reject wasn't on the post, then that's probably why it's not on the list, because we literally went by what people's choices were. And I'm terrible at knowing what a slasher is, so I didn't even, I don't know what I would consider Devil's Rejects, but for some reason it did not trigger slasher in my brain. See, dang it, crazy, you should have put that on the Twitter. I love Devil's Rejects. I would have loved a clip. Missed opportunities. (laughs) Yeah, Devil's Rejects is pretty good. Let's see, we'll see what's, which, which clip shall we do next? We got... Let's see. Ooh, okay. I know. We'll do this one. I never saw those movies. Looks pretty terrifying, though. Oh, my God. Are they fucking awfully... Oh, they're just horribly terrifying. They're so good. Terrifier is fucking But you already said that Freddy is F tier, so you can't be trusted. (laughs) That was it. That was pretty good. I mean, everybody loves the scary clown. Oh, and that brings us to it, right? Because I know that was brought up in discussions. Would it be considered a slasher? Because it's technically like, what, an alien or something? Yes. Mm, And I don't know if he kills. How many people does he kill, actually? I didn't even think about that. I know he kills, like, the group eventually, but I can't remember what the kill count was even in that. I don't think, for me, I'm not going by the stupid Google criteria. I don't think of it as like a slasher movie, even though it's good. It's like more of a horror movie, I guess. Just straight horror. All right, because I know that that some I don't remember if you brought Just it up in on your stream. And I, I think it, the, the original was a was a miniseries. It wasn't even a movie yeah. until the remake. Mm. What about Jeepers Creepers? Remember that one? The first yeah. one was pretty good. Yeah, see, that's a monster dude. I monster wouldn't really consider dude. that a slasher yeah. either. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta separate the monsters from from the men. And see, it blurs the lines when you start getting into Chucky and stuff because they do originate as humans, but they get a little supernaturally in there. It makes you start considering others because I, I, I would have considered Leprechaun just on the fact of Chucky, but then remember, well, Chucky technically, you know, was a dude. I guess Leprechaun's a Leprechaun. Leprechaun's a, is, is a creature. Oh, look, I added the Leprechaun and Pumpkinhead to the list. Because people did well, mention those. I mean, but they're technically not slashers. I mean, they are creatures. They're um, Well, then when we rank them, we could say, well, it's not a slasher. So it goes in the D category. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas. I don't know. It's crazy. Always check my Twitter. You never know. Never know what's going to be posted. Stay tuned. Sophie says, yes, Jeepers Creepers. Like some Jeepers Creepers. Spidey, yes, Jeepers the first was good or great. Stephen King is weirdo. It ends with a child. Oh, never mind. Finish that comment. Nice. Crazy. <laughs> It was just stay with Sophie L. There we go. Yes, Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> <laughs> I like that better. But yeah, you guys actually, there was quite a few posts on there. I know we had Pumpkinhead, so we'll just go ahead and show some Pumpkinhead and Leprechaun. We'll do that one and Scream. We got we got quite a few to show. So we are going to get into it. Let's see. I love his friend is getting like impaled and he's just standing there like, oh, either run or help your dude out. No! I mean, yeah. no! no! Stop doing that. 
I like either <laughs> run run away or help him out, but standing there saying no I ain't doing much, pal. Yeah, so he wasn't do too much there to help dude out. I don't know. He at least run away, I guess. I, I don't, you know, do something. No. Can't just stand there. No. What? I mean, if you can't save him, then you got to run. You got to, you got to pick the odds. Saying, do something. <laughs> He's just no. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting around no. to die. Right? Yeah, <laughs> Sophie L. <laughs> He'll be that running crazy. I guess it wouldn't be a good movie if they just didn't stand there <laughs> and sacrifice. Yeah, I guess the script needed him to be standing there. Yep. Yelling, no! <laughs> he had to die next. It's, he had to make Put sure some emotion it. into it. Yeah. Put some he emotion into it. Scream, no. <laughs> no! He was irritating the monster. I was irritated with the no. <laughs> Pumpkinhead <laughs> was unaffected. <laughs> his, <laughs> Pumpkinhead was not listening to his friend saying, no! He was unfazed by it. <laughs> oh god let's see oh man we got some we got so many good ones i'm trying to see which one i wanted to i remember when with. we first saw pumpkin head too you were really little but i remember when we first saw pumpkin head class me and, me and your sister were freaking horrified yeah that explains <laughs> a lot as why why i am the way i am fucking five years old watching pumpkin head <laughs> Pretty much in your chair, just like. <laughs> you know, that's how we grew up back then. You have to watch horror movies. Basically, I remember with a bottle. <laughs> you just got a bottle in one hand and you're just chilling, watching horror movies. It's fun. I remember my mother took us to see From Dusk Till Dawn in the movies, mm -hmm. and that's like 1996. So I was 10 years old. Yeah. From Dustin Dawn is not for 10 year olds. No, it's obviously. not. No, it's not. <laughs> and I remember one of the, like, the adults going into the movies was like shaking their head. They were like, I Yep. <laughs> we were so judged. I can't believe we're taking these kids to see we this so movie. Judged. And my mom was like, Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this buddy says he may have pissed his pants too, too dark to be sure. <laughs> so, Phil, yeah, you could run with pissy pants on there. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, right. You can run and piss at the same time. But uh, it is not, yes, yeah, true, Fighty. It's not been confirmed if he did or did not. It's called multitasking, people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, let's see what we got next. All right, we'll play an actual slasher. Go back and forth between our non slasher and slasher fix. Oh man, there's so many good ones. watching me. Well, let them. Let them see what kind of a person I am. I'm not even going to swat that fly. I hope they are watching. They'll see. They'll see and they'll know. And they'll say, why, she wouldn't even harm a fly. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Classic, classic. Of course, Sophia. Absolutely. And so, like yeah. in the, back in the day when that first released, like that was like considered so like risque and horrible, and, mm -hmm. and like people were terrified of that fucking movie. Oh yeah, I mean, honestly, even though <clears throat> it doesn't seem as cool as some of the movies today, the classics they are there for a reason. We wouldn't have the greatness we have today. We have greatness today. What are you smoking? 
I mean, you know, there's <laughs> uh, maybe not today. Today, when I say today, I mean like today. you know when I was coming up, we had some pretty good classics. Yeah, they weren't bad. At least they tried to improve on on style for making it a I little. Mean, different. I don't really know what they have out today, honestly. Yeah, they have run out of ideas. I think. <laughs> I don't know what they're coming out with today, as far as horror goes. That's why we're going over all the old stuff. Because these are good movies. At yeah, least- I think the only the only real new ones on the list are like Happy Death Day. Creep, which I didn't, I didn't personally like it very much, but I know a bunch of people really did like it. Everything on Terrifier, everything else is pretty much old. Saw is Saw considered a slasher, or is it? I guess it is. I would say maybe the first. I don't know. I don't think it is. Since he doesn't actually kill the people, they kill themselves. I don't. Yeah, he's not like. That's just a modification. To try to kill people per se. He's he wasn't. There were people later that took on his persona to kill people, but he did not yep. originally. He originally was trying to get people to do whatever to fix themselves or whatever. But I think we have to turn to the chat on this one. What do you think, chat? I think so. I have be a, a counter to that for sure. of a movie, and it's the collector, where he intentionally kills several people, and it's only his intention is to collect victims. As well as kill them. So you're saying Collector's a slasher and Saw is not? Mm, That guy was a fucking crazy dude. It's what he was. I do not know if... I don't believe we got Texas Chainsaw on there. Although that is definitely a classic slasher. Not And see, that's another reason why I like... I don't really like slasher. Because Texas Chainsaw Massacre really is not one of my favorite either. But... I nope, no one put it up on Twitter. I mean, we can't have a proper slasher nope, nobody list without put that mentioning up. Texas Chainsaw. What is what is this we, list? What is this? Supposed to put your favorites on there. I, we went back nobody yeah, well, chose some, it. There's some that are required, and that is Halloween, Texas Chainsaw, Freddy Krueger, obviously, Chucky. Come on now. That's just like... <laughs> 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 Come on. They are completely out of new ideas. Yes, Saw isn't really a slasher. Oh, no. Nobody it's picked a psychological it. Psychological thriller. Buddha Cafe says, the best part about being Gen X to horror movies is you're in movie theater watching scenes bef- never, right, watching scenes, never scenes before. Yeah, I mean, there was something about the movie theaters back in the day. But I don't know, man. I kind of like it at the house now. <laughs> Maybe it's because we're older. <laughs> I don't want to go out anymore. To deal with I still the like crazy movies. masses of people. I noticed they've been slipping commercials in the in the trailers. You know, like when they start playing the commercials, or they they used to play the commercials before the trailer started. Now they'll play stupid ass commercials. And then they'll start playing the trailers, and then they'll squeeze another commercial within the previews, and it pisses me off. I haven't. Let's see. I went to movie theater once in like the last I don't even know how many years, and yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, it was pretty bad at the beginning. But then again, like I said, the theaters aren't what they used to be. We used to have arcades and ours and little stuff like that too, and they kind of took all that out. Twas a simpler time. Was a better time. Yeah, because I mean, I know I get it. Arcades aren't as um, meaningful now, but you know, back in the day, you just you could hang out somewhere all day, and there'd be arcades, and there'd just you know little things that you could do, and it didn't cost you completely an arm and a leg. It didn't feel like it, anyways. Now I don't know, man. I don't know how these people do stuff. Those were the days. <laughs> Go out at a Chuck E. Cheese. They would have used to be either. <laughs> Look, man. I like. Took my kid to Chuck E. Cheese many a times, okay. and then Chuck E. Cheese started changing, and we stopped going. It just it wasn't the same. I love my home. We didn't have a Chuck E. Cheese. We had uh, Nathan's that had an arcade in it. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that nice. was our Chuck E. Cheese. Hmm. There you guys, what do y'all think? I know we got off track a little bit, but do y'all, I know some said that Saul, they don't, it's a psychological thriller. What about Collector, if you have seen it? What do you think? Is it considered great a slasher? movies? 
<laughs> Gorilla used to scare you to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> yeah, then they do them. Animatronics. God, dude, the things we had back in the day that I look back are so scary, but man, we weren't scared of that crap. <laughs> it's fine. It's normal. Let's see. I do have a clip of the collector. Let's show it real quick. Yeah, These I mean, the body count eat. alone, he I would consider him a slasher. I mean, in that one clip, he killed, like, what, a whole warehouse of people? They don't see he a just giant lawnmower coming toward people. Them. Like, they're just, they're just <laughs> jamming out so hard, they don't see that. Like, what's, come on, don't insult my intelligence, collector. Yeah, yeah, you know they, what I mean? They, you know what, they, by the time they realized that they did try to run, there was just... just there was one dude that was trying to run. Everybody was dancing so hard, they didn't notice the giant lawnmower that was just murdering everybody. Uh, I like it later after that. They, it shows like he's got like a cage set up and he literally traps like the rest of them in the cage to be crushed. Like, yeah. Yep. It just know, mushes man. them like pancakes. I don't know, man. Uh, like I said, I'm not a slasher pro, so I leave it to the chat because I know that there's people in there that are. I that was a I mean, massacre. body count alone, dude. I don't know. That was a massacre. That wasn't a slasher. That was a fucking massacre. Yeah, no, I mean, I know it's like, okay, he sets traps up and stuff, but the first one, I don't think, see, and this is where it comes to the first one, he doesn't have that body count. That's the second one, the um collection, because if I'm not mistaken, the first one's actually similar to a home invasion. Yeah, but the first one, those, all the kills were really, really gruesome, and I didn't know how far we could really get away with stuff, even though that was pretty gruesome. No, I'm but saying they as far were as all like, brutal. Um, as far as like considering it a slasher, the first one may, because of how it is, may not consider it a slasher. It might be more like a home invasion. I don't know. See, this is why I have to look to you guys to help rank these things, because. I'm terrible at this. It's tough. It's just so tough. The criteria is so, it's very, it's very gray. So it's, mm -hmm. it's hard to really say what a slasher could be. I personally think my view of what a slasher is, is it's mostly the body count for me. Like that's really what warrants a slasher. Like there needs to be a lot of victims in the wake of whoever's going around killing people. That's that's really my only criteria of like a slasher movie. But I don't care if it's like a leprechaun, a Jason, a serial mom, like an alien. Like it just, you just need to kill a whole mess of people. Mm -hmm. What about you, Benda? Does it is there anything that really makes it the most of a slasher? Is it just a body count? Um, I say body count and, um, I don't know. I'd say maybe like the persona of the killer, like, oh yeah. All the ones that we've been talking about, like at, at least to be a good one anyway. Fre what's we all their motivation? Fre yeah. What's their motivation? <laughs> and are they like jigsaws and saw? That's why I would consider saw one too. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, maybe like the persona and the body count and I feel like they got to be gory as well. I've uh, these PG 13 shits, they don't count. Nope. <laughs> Seriously, I don't think you could be a slasher without, like, that's one of the criteria for the genre. They have to be bloody. Mm -hmm. Yes. Don't and insult disgusting. me with your PG-13. Yeah. yeah. Body count equals slasher, says Miss Sophia. That's my girl. Yes. Definitely body count. Definitely body. That's why I said when it came to collector, I was curious because... Technic, I mean, it's when you get to technically on the three things, when and particularly the one where it says how they're going after victims, 
not necessarily the body count, but you know, if it's one person or whatever, that's where it gets tricky. Because there's some of these, I don't know. I mean, I would have thought Saul was too until you read the what the criteria is. Let's see what else. I don't go by that stupid ass criteria. <laughs> and what's it's it's a freaking like maybe it's not an exact slasher, but it's in the giants in the ballpark. What he doesn't kill them, but he makes them kill themselves. That's a good twist, actually, for the slasher genre. I would still put it in personally, but nice. Yeah, see, I mean, I would put I put anything that whatever y'all wanted to put in, I put it in there that was on the um the Twitter post. Mm -hmm. so that's, that's what I follow. That's why we included um, Pumpkinhead and Leprechaun because I'm like, it's fine. I'll include it. We'll talk about it if nothing else. Let's see. Well, let's do some Jason. Got a little Jason. Oh, yeah. There's your boy. Back in. <laughs> now, I do actually like the premise of Jason. To me, he's like a like a grudge spirit kind of thing. So, I like that. But the movies... Sometimes they never really ever... Do they, do they ever explain if Jason... Uh, what's his fucking deal? Like, is he dead or is he not dead is he my I mean, understanding he's dead and he was brought back after they killed his mom yeah like but they never really go spirit. over that it's like, like a vengeful spirit. spirit yeah yeah that's cur it's like a curseful spirit that in that land is cursed yeah but you now guys are just, screwed you guys up. are just assuming that i don't think they ever actually say that though well because even in the game you have to do the ritual at the end to kill him that's true. You get the um shirt from his mom, and then you get what's yeah. But I think the game just made that up, though. <laughs> I, I thought that was in. I thought there was part. Of I don't that remember. Movie. I could be wrong. I thought it. I mean, I might be wrong too, honestly. Guys in the chat, you let us know how you wrong know what? we are. Jason's so fucking dumb. <laughs> I don't, it does it really matter? I guess it really doesn't. That's I the thing about Jason. Like, like, like it's so spirit. it's so stupid, and I respect that. And they know that it's stupid. Just who cares if Jason is? He just can't be killed for some reason. Deal with it. Yeah, he died as a kid. They killed him, or he drowned because they weren't watching him. They were off the counselors and such were doing naughty things. And the mom came after she after her son died. After Jason died, she went on a I believe a murderous rampage. Only to, I think, I don't know if they killed her or how I forgot how she died. And then somehow, I forgot exactly how, but yeah, it's like her, I don't know, he came back because something about her spirit and his grudge spirit. It yeah. makes zero sense though, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. It. it makes no sense because so, if he did yeah. die as a kid, he popped out of the water when he was still a kid at the end of the first one. And then he's a grown up in the second one. And it all just doesn't make sense, but I think they know it doesn't make sense and it doesn't really matter. They know they know they're not gonna win any Academy Awards or anything. Okay, so the <laughs> second Friday the thirteenth had the survivor put the put on the mom's clothes, so it was canon. Yeah, was yeah but canon. the whole ritual part. I think maybe there's something about the mom's head or something. Yeah. This, yeah, my husband walked by, he told me, he's like, chop the head off. And then I think you do that in the game, too. Yeah, in the game. I think, didn't they chop the mom's head well, off? Well, all else in fails, the chop yeah. their head off. So, yeah. Oh, there okay, the video game did it, so that makes perfect sense. Yeah, they yes, do a ritual. exactly. It's, how, you know, it's enough for me. You know, Scarlet, yeah, you hate everything. Like, well, you hate everything. They, they, they you know do what? a ritual in the no multiplayer fucking Friday the 13th no, but game. No, Chucky, they have, you Chucky put on the sweater, is absolutely perfect. And you got, Chucky is perfect. You got, you no, got to Chucky knock the mask perfect. off you know what? Jason. I'm done. And then you got to have the head in a ritual fucking thing. It was in the game. No, no, no. Even that doesn't make any sense. Chucky is perfect. The little fucking doll that has super strength. Yeah, I get it. It's the fact that Chucky makes way more sense than what you just said. But first of all, he was still kicking the shit out of 
about the dudes. And the, Ooh, he, he's got too much strength, even for a dude. Chucky? Well, he is a possessed doll. So he, I get it, but he still has too much strength. No, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, we have Sophiel asking us about killer clowns from outer space. My That's personal favorite. That's not a great slasher, movie. But it is. I Best love movie it. Of all time. But it's, it, but, it's but freaking it's amazing. Or something, right? Aren't they aliens or something? Yep, they're aliens. Yep. Okay, see, we can't yep. include them. They're not my rules. I'd include them. <laughs> I hate rules. <laughs> we just, you know what? Y'all wanted rules, Benda, and we got rules. And now we can't include killer clowns because you want us to be better at our ranking system. <laughs> I didn't say anything about that. <laughs> I do say time. that the ranking system that you're using, to that's a dumb one. The Google one is freaking pathetic. <laughs> Fuck Google. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Google was inclusive, so we went without the inclusiveness, and now now Killer Clowns doesn't get to be included. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Whatever movie we say, it should be it should be a good should be good to go. Shouldn't matter. Oh man, let's see what else we got on the list. There are a few. So a serial killer possesses a doll, and your problem, your only problem with that is that the doll is too strong. No, honestly, I'm just, <laughs> you, just you just have to go there. So I like, have somewhat say something. Did fucking about voodoo you. magic on the doll, but the doll was too strong. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yes, <laughs> Mr. Von Stegel says so much Chucky love <laughs> this guy would like that anymore. Oh, it's even better because yeah, they yeah, it's so good. Thank you. <laughs> See, the I chat, need backup. The chat backs me up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get. The, I don't know who Danny is though, so I have no. I have no response. <laughs> That's why it's even funnier. <laughs> it's a doll. It's like a um, like a um, a ventriloquist doll. Like the Goosebumps one? Yeah, sort of, yeah. Remember that Dead Silence? That was actually pretty good, I thought. Mm. With the ventriloquist. It was kind of shit, but it was fun. Yeah. I'll Not right bad. Back. Yep. Let's see. Which one can we do next? I'm trying to pick. Let's see. We got Serial Mom, Black Christmas, You're Next. I know what you did last summer. We got so many, Dana. <laughs> oh, we got Malignant. Um, I know Malignant. You have to, you have to wait for Louie to come back for Malignant. That was one of his picks. Yeah. Um, let's see. Did I do Slumber Party? Sleep Away Camp? I don't know if I did those two yet. No, I did American Psycho. I'm pretty sure I did. Or did I? Or did I just you did Psycho. Psycho, yep. You did Psycho. You didn't do Serial Mom. You didn't yeah. do I Know What You Did Last Summer. You didn't do the scream yet. I don't have one for Maniac Copper Creep or Happy Death Day. I didn't get to those to make clips for. Okay. Let's see. Let's go with. Yeah, I'll go with Serial Mom. That's fine. We'll go with that one. He <laughs> he. That was one of my picks. I did like Serial Mom, but. Is it? I don't know. I'm, you know, it's slasher. It's fine. I'm not even going to ask anymore. <laughs> it's considered. Yes, yeah, so right. whatever we say it is. And that I was a good movie. movie. I like Serial Mom. I don't even think I ever saw that. You've never seen it's, that? It's, it's, it's a funny movie. It. Yeah, it's it's pretty funny. Because <laughs> later they're like, well, was it her funny. son's like trying to get her interviews and stuff? Movie deals. Um, um, it was based off a real story too, right? It's off a real. Yeah, the guy Ricky Ricky Lake plays her daughter. Mm -hmm. Ricky Lake plays her daughter, and the guy from Stream One Street. at the end, the yeah. second killer, yeah. not not the one, not the one that looks like Johnny Depp. The other guy, he was the son, yeah. Matthew Lillard. Possibly yes. Thank you. You guys, are you telling me you don't know who Matthew Lillard is right now? I never know people's names. You know, that, oh. you're just. I didn't know his I name. Remember your name, and I and, and I and I mean both. I know both. <laughs> Thanks to Dana. 
We <laughs> smoke too much, Louie. Yeah. No, like I'm horrible with names. You're, you know, it, it. You know how long I confused Michael Myers and Jason to the names, not so much like what the movie was, but just the names. It's, it's horrible. Like I'm sorry. The brain only works so. Yeah, Shaggy. He's old Shaggy. I know his character is better than I know who he is really as a person. But Gotta yes, stop I, smoking that devil's lettuce. <laughs> Yeah, I've always been that way. Say, that's devil's lettuce. That's just that's just the filing system upstairs. It's just not very good. Yeah, it's the devil's lettuce for me. No, no, I just always had bad bad filing. I'm not very organized. But no, yes, he was shaggy. He was in a lot of stuff that I liked actually. He's a pretty good actor. Let's hackers. He was else. really good in Hackers. Yes, he was in Hackers. I actually watched that again the other day. Literally, like I watched that this week. Just for shit to giggle. <laughs> I was like, oh, let's see. I was like, I oh, see this one in a minute. It's so bad. It's so good. Hackers was a was an interesting one. Let's see. All right, we got. It was. It was good. We got. We got. Oh, here we go. Just. Just for you, Benda. For me? That movie's a fucking masterpiece. <laughs> that was pretty cool, actually. <laughs> In case you guys know, no, that's from the movie Malignant, and the ending is quite the scene, man. Quite the scene. No, I've, I've that even seen good that one. one. That one I'm going to check out. That was actually pretty good. Pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> look, look, man, look, uh, we don't always agree that that was... That was pretty sweet looking. And that uh, scene we were oh. just watching is like a full four minute scene where the dude is just laying waste to this police station. I had to pick like 30 seconds from like a four minute scene. Yeah, no, it is hard trying to um clip some of these. Cause this yeah, these scenes, he especially in the horror, because they're gonna they're gonna drag on. You're gonna have some good ones. But yeah, that was malignant. That was pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna check that one out. You got to. Yeah. The ending um, will, y'all, will surprise you. More clips, or do you all ready to rank in? We can get back to clips. Chat. What do you all want to do? We got a few. We got a good, at least three more clips. I believe. Yeah, maybe four more. One, two. Yeah, we got at least maybe four more clips we can show. Or we can get to the ranking. It is totally up to you guys. Might as well just finish out. The, might as well finish out the clips, and then we'll do the ranking. All right, let's see what the chat thinks. Well, we all know Chucky's number one, and everything else is distant second. So, well, we don't know that for sure yet. We will no, no, it's, it's for sure. It's <laughs> definitely for sure. This is locked in. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Freddie's first, and then we'll. See where Chucky falls somewhere down the line. He's C ish. <laughs> no way. If Chucky gets a C, that is that's not right in you. Know. <laughs> All right. Five. C Chucky plus. is a five star man. Fuck, man. I'm a five plus. star man. C plus. There. You got a C plus. No, it goes in the S category, or I'm going to be very displeased. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be displeased. Well, that's not the first time. <laughs> Let's see what yeah, actually, I'm mostly displeased all the time. So, <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what else oh, I'm going to play. Oh, okay. Let's see. We got this one here. Yeah. Black Christmas. Mm-hmm. Black Christmas. That one was it. When did that one? I forgot when that one came out. I think in like the 70s. I know, but I thought there was another one that was like that. One. No, that was Christmas X. They did the remake. No, they remade Black Christmas. Okay, I thought they did. I thought so. Man, I knew I went completely crazy. <laughs> it was like I knew that was the older one. I was like, man, I knew this. I thought there was a new. I thought there was a newer version of that. Oh, yep. See, they're hating on you, Chucky man. I don't know. Chucky just getting disrespected. <laughs> oh, they're harsh. Me. I mean, I'll give it a C plus, man. I was to Chucky. 
I thought I was being harsh, man. Dang. I I I, for, I forgot to add my Freddy Krueger thing, so I'm adding it to the list. Sorry, oh, guys. Oh no, guys, we went too far. Yeah, right, you had to go it. too far talking about no, Chucky like that. We can't show no more um, clips, Dana. Are they shutting us down because people are disrespecting Chucky so goddamn hard in the chat? No, we're suspended YouTube's like, for no. policy violations. I think it might have actually it, it ended it. Jeremy's came back. Remember? No, this is suspended, Dana. This is it. It's. I think it, it might. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Refresh. No, it ain't like that. I did see. I told you, Dana was gonna have too many. Damn it. Really? They were all 30 seconds. That no bait. We had several that were over that we played a lot and a few were around a minute and stuff. Yeah, only like two. Everything else I, I got down I to 30 you, seconds. They're not 30 seconds. You like you 30 seconds is 30 seconds. They're like most of these were over 30 seconds, up to like 40 seconds. And we played a lot. And then I played a few. Let's see. The psycho one was a minute. Yeah, I could, that that was a long one, and serial mom was a long one. So I don't know. We'll see if it comes back up. YouTube couldn't oh, take any more back. Chucky disrespect. Oh, we're back. The right, disrespect. Well, all the clips are done for the evening. I'm sorry, YouTube. We are it so wasn't. Sorry. But YouTube called me up and said they would not stand for all the hate <laughs> on Chucky. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not right. So we learned. We're sorry. We'll be better. <laughs> Don't we're, we're ranking now, guys. We're going to move on to ranking. <laughs> just throw the Chucky up in S, so we know where the standard is. Who knows? It could have been just because it was a lot of a lot of gory clips too. Who knows? Or, or just clips in general. Yeah, the, <laughs> there was a lot of gore. But we're back. Yay! Hey Johnny, man, what is up? Good to Look see you hanging out with noob. us in chat. You just missed how savage we were. <laughs> yeah, we were so savage we got taken off of YouTube for a second. <laughs> Got fucking deleted. Scarlet was almost banned from YouTube. <laughs> I was like, oh no. We got the black screen of death. Oh my God. Yeah, well, you're, we're, we're learning. You're officially a YouTuber, Scarlet. We learned, Dana. We can't go that far. I see, I should have called it when I said it. We just should move on to the Reiki. I should have just did it then. Who knows? It could have been the prior clips. I don't know. I need backup, Johnny. People are just straight up disrespecting <laughs> Chucky. No, look, you disrespect the things all the time. <laughs> Goes around, comes we around. Officially and got our first I'm, not dis I'm not disrespecting things. I'm just stating facts, though. That's the thing. It, we, we got it was a band band. We just we got taken down for a minute. We're back. It's fine. We're good. It's okay. We're we're done with that. <laughs> they put us in the naughty corner. We got a little time out. It's fun. We, we got a little wild. <laughs> so, you know, bring Thank it you, back Johnny. in. The voice of reason over here. The best slasher movie should be a should be a C, like C ranking or C is in something else fighting. <laughs> something I don't know. <laughs> the Chucky is quality. I, I don't know, Johnny. Y'all are you're in for a, a rough um, ride here. Most people in the chat don't feel the same way. I mean, I gave it personally like, you know, around a C plus, but. Well, honestly, though, Scarlett, let me ask. You. <laughs> honestly, I give it a B plus. Yeah, it's not it's quite an A for me. I, but let I me ask you, there. you've seen Childs play the first one and mm -hmm. the second one? Uh, just the first I've one. I've seen them all. I've seen all and the TV series. Have you, though? <laughs> No, I have. I've seen the one where, like, even the one where they're in, like, way after, after he's had kids, after the, the, the cult Yeah, I'm not talking, you see, if you're judging off Seed of Chucky, then I agree. It's fucking shit, even though I kind of like Seed of Chucky. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's crap, one, but I like it. I, I like don't believe crap. that you watched, I mean, maybe you saw the first one a long, long time ago and you don't remember. No, I think, I've seen them all, and even I've. 
within the last like five years watch them watch them all because you can get i believe all of them were on youtube at one point and then i watched the tv series and the um second half of the series i believe is supposed to come out at some point fuck the series I'm just saying, Mr. I love Chucky yeah, you so keep, much. You keep driving, you, you keep driving the conversation all, back to see the Chucky in the all. series. I, I don't give a shit about those. I watched I it all. Well, then you just, well, then you just I mean, in the TV <laughs> series, it's actually canon. It's I thought you might have been, I know it is. I thought you might have been ignorant, but you're just stupid. I'm kidding. No. Nice. Um, Chucky uh, is you fantastic. Know what? You know what? I don't, I don't, I don't like that. That's I said I was just joking. It was very nice. I said I was kidding, so that means I can... Like, like... Bruh. I said no offense. <laughs> that was very nice, pineapple. <laughs> I said no gave, offense. Gave you a nice pine and I gave you a nice pineapple beverage, bro. I'll take a <laughs> beverage. It's <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice pineapple plasma. <laughs> I still gotta make that better. It, it'll it'll one day be greater. It'll be an actual plasma that you have for your friends when you know you just want to <laughs> make them shut up. No, just kidding. Just throw it. You know, I gotta do it, it like the actual okay, classic, so like Bioshock plasma. <laughs> so shall we start the ranking? Yeah, let me just see what we got going on. What is see? That's because okay, that's because they have bad taste, Johnny. Eh, you know, <sighs> it's your opinion, and I will allow it. It's fine. It's, you know, sometimes all my friends have bad taste. It's okay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you pull up the pineapple thing. That hurts my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you asked for it, literally. You asked for the pineapple when you go too far. So I, I didn't the, ask for it. I don't want to. No, you, you asked for the key. Y'all wanted the code word to be pineapple, so I made you your own special little pineapple clip. Where's my little skit I can play? <laughs> you have to ask Dana about that. I don't know. She's Dana, where's my little week. skit I can play? <laughs> <laughs> so are we going to start yeah, I saw with Freddie? Freddie as a kid. Um, yeah, hang on one. Freddy second. goes on S tier. Obviously. It keeps Scarlet away from the buttons. You know what, Johnny? There's a lot of buttons. You keep pushing these buttons and you go find it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to leave that up to you, too, because I despise Freddy Krueger. And for me, it's a D. All right. All right, chat. All right. We're going to start. We can start with Freddy. What do you guys think? I'm always going to put Freddy at the top. It's going to be an S for me. But what does the chat think? Give you guys a second. Anything then S for Freddy Krueger is a fucking crime. <laughs> Fine, I'm, sure they are. I'm sure they are. They, I mean, I just, <laughs> yeah, they, they asked for the pineapple as a code word for Pete for when, you know, we need to be just a little bit. Just take a break. It's a pineapple break. I don't even know what that means otherwise. So not saying it now, I probably shouldn't say that. I feel like if Freddy doesn't go in S tier, we'll, we'll probably get banned from YouTube again. And rightfully so. There you go. I put your Freddy in their S tier. I think it should go somewhere around here, but that's just me. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll give Chad a minute to see what they thought, but we got one. Well, we got Johnny giving it an S. I like I like me some Freddy. I mean, you can't, you can't Freddy, Freddy. Friday the thirteenth. Fucking Halloween. And Chucky should all just throw them up there in S. And don't give me don't give me trouble about no, Chucky. No, He's up there no, too. No, no, he no. is up there. <laughs> one of the I understand. Fathers. If it was me though, it's still Michael Myers. I have to give an A. Sorry, I give Michael Myers an A. I hate Michael Myers. That is a crime that you put it not uh, in S. <laughs> look, look, it's my opinion, and I'm a time. I'm being kid. fair. Yeah, fair but eyes. my it's, opinion it's is that I Halloween like also sucks. Chat's opinion is the only one that really matters. <laughs> the chat's got to let us know. Got to let us know. Where do you place? Where would you guys place oh, Michael Myers? You're right. Chat's the only one that matters. Johnny, where oh, no. would you put Chucky, bro? 
He's in the fucking chat. He's going to say S. We're talking about Michael Myers right now. We're going to say Michael Myers right now. <laughs> Chuck, he's too short to reach up there. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I don't know. There's still I gotta some discrepancy go about with, uh, Chucky. Halloween. But if y'all want to do S for Halloween, I will allow it. It's, it's all good. I gave my opinion. I'm outvoted. I'm fine. But Chucky, we got, I don't know. We're not still clear on Chucky yet. I don't know. Friday the 13th. Or, or if we got to consider all movies and we got to consider the trash that was Jason Takes Manhattan. <laughs> Well, once again, are we ranking them on the quality of movies or the iconicness of the slashers? Because if no, I know I was just I was icon, just kidding. <laughs> well, I think all these movies have. I was just movies had to bring up that trash. Uh, yeah, Jason takes my hat. I just had to bring up that trash. Right. I, can, I can do yeah, you know, Jason S tier. I'll go Jason S tier. What do you guys think? Anybody else in the chat? What do you guys want? Where do you place some of these that we have put up here already? I know we're kind of just placing them. <laughs> no, you're right. Freddie, Jason, and Michael Myers are trio. So you got to you gotta give them the respect, Irv. Chucky, too. Uh, I mean, like I said, I, I will Chuck see Chucky, too. I just got to throw that in there, huh? I have to. I'll give it the B. Actually, I give Chucky an A. All right there. I give you an A. Chuck, I will not settle for anything less than an S. And neither will Johnny. Well, Johnny's not on the panel, so his vote doesn't count. Literally just said two seconds ago, can we rewind the tapes? Scholar said the chat's voice is the only one that matters. Johnny's in the chat. <laughs> Literally said that two seconds ago. Now they're not on the panel. <laughs> Literally two seconds ago. Rewind the tape. <laughs> I'm going to back out of here and go in chat now. I'm in the chat too, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> they don't matter. The chat doesn't matter until they vo they're voting for what you're voting for. Chucky's going S, all right. That's final. Hey, wherever else you want to put anything else is fine. Chucky's going S, son. I will not stand here. I will not stand idly by and have Chucky disrespected like that. Well, you, you have to get some more folks in the chat. Chats. We got one vote, or technically, in the chat for. S for Chucky. I, I believe we got some F's in there. I know I saw it earlier. One was positive. Yeah, but they're not F's. even here now. So, I, oh God, John Chucky is me. as Johnny says it, and we all know that Chats is the only one that matters. Know. Mr. Mr. Von Stugel, what do you think, man? <laughs> If we're going on icons, I, oh, Chucky no, should don't. be up there with the best of them, dude. He should be up there with the best of them. <laughs> Where do you rank it, Mike? Give, give me a letter. <laughs> oh, no. A doll is holding up. <laughs> it's overpowering me. It's help. <laughs> it's because of the surprise and also maybe he's a strong doll. What do you want? He's fucking, he's doing his chest press and he's working out. What do you want? <laughs> right, yeah, he's been going to the gym. <laughs> oh, here we go. C is the highest Chucky he can reach. All right, see now we got it. All right, uh, all right. We need one more person to give us a, <laughs> a letter. See if we can't try to like come up with a consensus. I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work, but you know, figure it out. We need. A, we got at least two S's and one C. So, so Chucky, if we're not careful, Chucky's getting S. D. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. D. Oh. Yeah, Johnny. There's no talking reason to them, Johnny. Johnny's trying to explain that he's an ambush predator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just don't get it. Trying you just to don't get it. You're a fucking ambush predator. Everybody knows. Plus, he's mm. got, besides Freddy, 
Actually, I'd even say Chucky beats Freddie on the one-liners. Yeah, guys, are we not counting one-liners on the rankings here? Because Chucky should be S-tier for funny one-liners when he kills somebody, all right? Right up there with Freddie. Jason and Michael Myers don't even talk shit when they kill people. Well, I mean, I already told you how I felt about Jason and Michael Myers. I wasn't going to put them on S. They still deserve to be up there, though. Well, that's you. See, that's you. So, see, you want like confusing the whole system here. No, no, that's not just me, though. That's no, I agree. I I, I agreed with that they should be an S. I even, I, I even know, uh, even though I'm terrified of Freddy, you got, for his iconic status, yeah, I just would rank him in a D because I'm terrified of him. So would you rank Chucky then? Because he's technically iconic. Would you rank well, him as Dana? I would put I him in an A. I say S, but Scarlet, he could be a Scarlet. It's okay. I won't, I won't flip my shit. I'll wait till the, the thing's over and then I'll report this channel to YouTube <laughs> and have it stricken down. <laughs> but I won't make a fucking scene right now. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bullshit. You guys know it, Johnny. I will not stand for this. <laughs> this is fucked up. You know it, but it's fine. It's your show, whatever you want to do. Johnny, <laughs> if there's a Mount Rushmore of slashers, it goes Freddy, <laughs> Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, and fucking Chucky. Now, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh and God. for him to be sitting down there in rank A when S is up there with all those three, they're lonely up there. Chucky should be up there, too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know right. that is height discrimination <laughs> <laughs> we're discriminating we're against right? the yeah. short fucking bullshit you, you gonna be all right you sure i mean you need to check the Ade, dewey dambala give me the power i beg of you i'm planting a curse right now on scarlet and dana for not putting chucky in tier s that's where it should be but whatever look now you're gonna take him down though but she put it on. <laughs> she put it on S for you. I'm not scared, Dana. Don't be scared. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not scared. Scared. <laughs> scared of the curse. Collusion, Johnny. Now, I don't put them wherever you want. I won't make a. I won't make a big deal. I'm just messing around. <laughs> oh, he gets the participation. Yeah, Chucky gets the participation award. <laughs> there, he's on S now. Everybody can calm down. Just it'll be fine now. We'll I'm calm. On. No, put it. Put him on S. It's fine, Dana. We'll put him on S. He's iconic. Okay. Now, well, I feel like you're not really putting him on S, though. Which is <laughs> you know what? We like, got. We got like. You're, just saying, you're only doing <laughs> right, it. I'm, I'm making on. a foster bag. Where are we gonna rank? Let's see what else. I can't even see what. What we got on there? Oh, um, let's do Scream. Yeah. All right. Where do we rank Scream? I'll give it. Honestly, I give it. I give it a B. Even though I do like it, I'll be fair. I was actually gonna give it an A. You fucker! I, I was like sitting here trying to be. Like <laughs> well, you know what it is. I'm too fair when it comes to this. Like, if I don't like the movies, I still know it's iconic. As as far as all these other movies are concerned, I'd say Scream would be an A. It wouldn't be S, but it would be up there. I could I could go B though. All right, guys. What are you thinking? I was thinking that? B. Are, you thinking B? What do you guys in the chat think? Where do you rank Scream? Just as, I mean, you can rank it just as you think your favorite Scream or as the franchise as a whole. Either way. Where do you place it? I feel like Chucky's only tier ass because we filibustered pretty much. And I'm not satisfied with it. I feel like he's still disrespected right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's really no winning. There's no fucking winning. No winning. I feel like there should be an S plus category for him. I really do. I said that in the beginning. I feel like he should be way up there. Yeah. <laughs> Ghostface is an A because of the iconic status. All right. Well, we can put it on A. I'm good with that. The chat has spoken. It's a, there, are you happy? I mean, in general or like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yes, in general. Uh, <laughs> you feeling better now? Yeah. All right. Good, good, good. There's no up to tall screaming to. <laughs> so then what about 
Oh, I don't know. So then we got to bring it down. All right. So not quite an A anymore, I guess. Where are we going to put it at? I still think B is good for a scream. It's not a D. And C, you, yeah, no, you could give him a B. All right. I'm good with it. B, it shall be. What we got next? We can do Serial Mom. What do y'all think? Let's, do, let's do Norman Bates. Where should All Norman right. go? For, for me, Norman's a, for, is easily an A. Well, I feel like there maybe as like a slasher movie, it shouldn't be an S. But as like a movie in general, it should be an S. So I would I could settle for A, but no disrespect towards Psycho as a movie. I just feel like the slasher genre when that movie came out wasn't even invented yet. Yep. I feel like it doesn't even like it does qualify for a slasher, but as a slasher, maybe not a very good slasher by the criteria we're rating by. That's why I said A. It's not yeah. as iconic as the other one. I mean, that's why I said A instead of S, because he's not an icon, but he's pretty well known. Yeah. What do you guys in the chat think? Where do you place it? Let us know. Let's see. I don't know. We got what else? Which one we want to do next? We got why we don't got Black we? Christmas, Happy Death Day. Pump, well, Pumpkinhead. Y'all want to just go ahead and do Pumpkinhead? We can put it on the bottom of the list just because they're not technically. Or if you guys want to put them on higher on the list, does it matter to me? I'm I about to see what Pumpkinhead. I was going to say C or D. Pumpkinhead's pretty cheesy. It I is, but it's cheesy goodness. Yeah, exactly. It's cheesy goodness, and I see a lot of other mm, movies on the list that are way shittier than Pumpkinhead, so we'll save that for the D. All right. I'm good with that. And, of course, guys, in the chat, let us know because we can I could even the... consider Leprechaun a C. I could even consider Leprechaun a C because he's got some good one-liners, too. <laughs> I mean, Leprechaun's also an S for me, so... <laughs> Leprechaun's fucking fantastic. Yeah, no, Leprechaun's got to be up there. A S or A? I say A. He's, he's not. There. He can't be. Well, you know what? I'll put it A because technically it's not a slasher, but I still really enjoy it. Well, you're gonna put Leprechaun above Scream, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. With I mean, it. I fine. would just yeah. because Leprechaun. I mean, I'm okay than with Scream. it just because. Yeah, I kind. I mean, I kind of. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Well, like, you're gonna but make me question well. it. I can just go ahead and rearrange the whole system if you want me to. <laughs> Well, I feel like we kind of, uh, I don't want to, I don't want you to do anything. I don't want you to do anything. I'm just, I'm just playing devil's <laughs> advocate sometimes, you know? <laughs> don't make a woman have to question her decisions. You know how horrible that is? You're asking. I'm just like, saying well, three people are way more people are buying ghost face costumes for Halloween than they are leprechaun in the hood costumes, even though leprechaun in the hood is an amazing movie. Then I don't know. I just, I thought leprechaun was pretty cool though, but it's not a slasher. So you see, you're asking me the movie. I like the movie a lot. And the and the killer. I like the leprechaun dude. So well, I like Gattaca a lot, but I it's mean, not yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, they just rearrange it and what put Scream with Leprechaun. Put it it's on your, A. You put it wherever you want, but that doesn't look right to me to have Leprechaun above Scream. It does not look right. All right, right put Scream with Leprechaun then. I'm fine with it. Whatever makes everybody happy. But I <laughs> make it more difficult. Bidey makes a good point. Alfred Hitchcock below Chucky, but that's for a reason, though, because we went over that. <laughs> see, see, this is where we get to now. I don't. Rankings are hard. Leprechaun should go. Actually, maybe Leprechaun should go C, and then Pumpkinhead. To, I don't know. Yeah, they are too hard. <laughs> I still feel like we that S plus category. Should, we need an adult. Yeah, I feel like the S plus category should be a, a thing for Chucky. That way, they'd all fall in line pretty well. No, 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 no. See, it's because of your Chucky that the whole system rankings messed up to begin with. You screwed I, it up no, with Chucky. I would say <laughs> keep keep the S tier. I personally, and do whatever you want, is your list. I keep Scream on the A tier. Leprechaun goes down to B. All right, fine. Put it on B. That's fine. 
That's just me, though. You don't have to do that. I'm good. And guys, let's see. Johnny says leprechaun. I was out of C with leprechaun, so. Yeah, I'm okay with the C for that. You know what? Leprechaun is kind of on the same level as Pumpkinhead, though. That's why. I, that's what I was. That's why it's a C for me. You know what? It It is so much because it's so cheesy, but that's what makes it awesome. Exactly. It's just another cheesy goodness. <laughs> It's just another cheesy goodness. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is hard, guys. Let's see. We got... All right, Cereal Mom. I'm going to put Cereal Mom at... Uh, I'm going to put it at a B for me. What do you guys think? Louis never seen it. So for me, it would be either a B, B or a C because it's not one of my favorite movies but i can chuckle and appreciate it for what it is so i'm okay with putting it yeah i mean it's not like the best of best but it's slasher, definitely not an a or an it's s definitely a good comedy style slasher so yeah i'm good with b let, let us know in the chat guys if you place it yes because and we can rearrange these as we go no problems See what we got next. What, do, what, what, what can you see? What's on the list? I can't remember. I know we got Black Christmas. Urban Legend is next. All right, and you could slide Urban that Legend. right into D minus. Get that shit out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Urban Legend is. Crazy. I was gonna say the same thing. Get that I am good with D. That is such a scream knockoff piece of trash. Is what that is. Get that shit yeah. out of my face. No, it is pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty much rip off the screen. But I mean, I like the premise of Urban Legend though. They could have probably did a little better. I and I could also put friggin'. I know what you did last summer in D. Yeah, you could just put that in D as well. Get that shit out of here. I am perfectly okay with that. So now, what about Malignant? And guys in the chat, yeah, let us know if, if this is where you rank them or not. Because like I said, we can change them around if you guys feel differently. Let us know in the chat because your you guys' opinion matters more than ours. The screen mask made the news today. Did it? Uh-oh. For? I don't know. What for? <laughs> that can't hilarious. be good. That can't be good. I don't know. I haven't been watching the news. I would say uh, Malignant. I wouldn't really even consider that a slasher for me. Even though they kill a lot of people in that movie. I don't think of it as one. So as a slasher, I would say Malignant's kind of like a C level probably. Uh, maybe a B if Leprechaun's on B. It's kind of cheesy like that. Yeah, you know, I kind of want to put Leprechaun on I would C. give it a B. I would give it a B just for that police I station mean, scene. Scarlet, just so you know, we all agree that Leprechaun should be C, but you just didn't move it down there. So I didn't. No, Dana didn't move. I'm not controlling. <laughs> oh, Dana's in. Yeah, Dana. We all agree that Leprechaun should be out of C. Keep up, Dana. Jeez, Scarlet, what are you paying her for? Am I right? Jeez. What do you mean? We're not, we're, she I'm, has a title. There, there's no payment here. Nobody get paid. <laughs> She's over there smoking the devil's lettuce. She can't even put leprechaun in rank C. Well, you know what? If you would like the position, you, you could apply. <laughs> I mean, you get a title, mostly. That's, I, I mean, even I could tell you that would be a huge mistake. But I do accept. Thank you for offering that. How do I, I mean, get it? We already know if I... we gave it to you, what would happen to the <laughs> <Yeah>. ranking system. <laughs> oh, yeah. What we got next? Let's Pretty see. much. I was I can't see what's doing malignant. Is. So I would that that police that police station scene. I I'm sorry. I think malignant should be like in a bay. That police station scene is friggin' great. Mm, well, I think as like a slasher movie though, I would put it as C. It doesn't matter though. I'm happy with B. Mm, put it on B because I'm gonna say we move leprechauns down, so it it looks fine there. Oh, Bidey says a guy killed his neighbor while wearing screen mask. Yeah, that's about right. That's on par. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> the world we Ooh, live in. What about, a, he did use what the about American mask. Psycho? I wouldn't really. Well, I guess that is kind of a slasher movie. It, it is a up. slasher movie. Uh, yeah, I guess. 
No, I put yeah, it in C just because I probably really? don't do it as well. I was about to say A. I just, I honestly, I, I vaguely remember watching it. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say that that's part of the puts, problem. You don't remember because... it, so it goes in C. <laughs> well, because I can't, it's, it wasn't memorable, even though it probably was good. I just probably, it's one of the older oh, ones. Oh, it's memorable. It a lot. Oh, it's memorable. The sequel. Yes, it is. I'm not really a slasher like buff, though, compared to some of you guys. I mean, I do love some slashers, but oh, it's not my favorite genre of horror. So that's not fair for me to rank some of these anyways. But there are a few I do enjoy. So yes, guys in the chat, you let yeah, us know. Yeah, no, the American Psycho's up there. But what about some Terrifier? Wait, wait, where oh, we put American Psycho in A? I agree with Sophie, though. I think feel like American Psycho is mm -hmm. more of a psychological thriller. But it's still awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, technically, I've, at the end I've, of that movie, one of my favorite, alert, one of my favorites. If we're going by the criteria of American Psycho, at the end of the movie, he doesn't even kill anybody, does he? You well, we they the kind of leave it open ended. No, I don't completely remember. No, he doesn't. Yeah. I remember he the movie. Everything. He imagined everything at the end. That's the end. Is he, he's just a psycho. Yeah, but Sophie so says Malignant <laughs> is an action movie which includes killing. Okay. Me and Sophie are on the same page because I also said I don't really think of Malignant as a slasher. It is pretty awesome, though. Which one were you doing next? Yes, it is. Um, let's see. We I don't I don't know where we at. Uh Terrifier. Terrifier, yes. I never um, saw them. But looking at it, it looked pretty terrifier. good. Terrifier. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd give it man, looking at it, it looks pretty good. I don't know, yeah. As a new that slasher, was I probably a slasher, though. So, yeah, that looks like a slasher, and it is a slasher. And even though I didn't see it, I could say it's probably gonna be an A or B, but yeah, I, I don't know which. Just based off the way it looked, it looked pretty good. I was going to give it an A too. We're ranking it. <laughs> oh. We'll get this together one day. The better rankers. All right. B, which one is B, Mr. Von Stubel? Which one are you giving B? All right. Which one we so got So I guess next? next we could do your next. You're next. <laughs> you're next. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is your next? All right. What do you guys think? Yep. Um, oh man, As it's a, a D for me. Movie. I'm just putting it up there yeah, just because that's where it landed. I was about to say it's C almost a reverse D. slasher. Right. It's almost a reverse slasher. Right. Instead of the bad guys really yeah. getting the one up, she turns around and kills all of them. Yeah, which makes it a pretty weak slasher for me. Yep, I I agree. It's a D for me. I want to go watch Freddy get his ass kicked all day. No, it's not a slasher. No way. And Mr. Von Even though the, the chick in it is badass. Yeah. Mr. Not saying it's a bad movie. Says terrifier for he's giving that one a B. So yeah, we can keep it. Y'all want to keep it on A or give it a B for terrifier? I know it's I'm an A for me. To... I've never seen it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep up with the chat too, see what they're saying while you guys are chatting. Um, we'll keep it around the A then. But yeah, um, sorry, I totally messed up what y'all were talking about. I did see that one clip when he saw the lady in half. That was pretty cool. That's a terrifier. Oh, that oh, oh. that's so he stupid. Fucking, yeah, bad day to be her. And the second one's even more gruesome. It wouldn't be that easy to saw somebody down the middle like that with a with a saw. Come on, get real. <laughs> <laughs> get real. And you wouldn't be able to so saw I itself guess perfectly we'll... like that. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so where would you, what, 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 I forgot which one we were on. I got sidetracked. My bad. We have we have black we have Black Christmas Sleepaway Camp, uh, Slumber Party Massacre, April Fool's Day, The Collector, Maniac Cop, 
Creep and Happy Death Day. Well, I put Happy Death Day in D. You didn't like Happy Death Day? No. I mean, the ending was disappointing. <clears throat> but Actually, I liked the lead up. Like, the lead up was pretty decent. But I yeah, would give it a C. I give it a C. Well, that's fine. Because it wasn't as bad as fucking Urban Legends. The, like, it wasn't as bad as those. It at least it, it at least had some good slasher moments in it and good kills. I guess. Well, it's like it, what it was like the weird Groundhog's Day kind yeah. of deal. Yeah, I, 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 I like that. New. Yeah, I thought I, it was kind of different, but yeah, the the ending was not as good. Creep, I, I thought was good, but as a slasher, I give it a D because he doesn't even he barely yeah. kills anybody. I did. I it's, I don't like that movie at all. So it's it for me. <sighs> I thought it was interesting for the budget they had. It held my interest. Also, the guy from the league is in yeah, it. Yeah, it was. It just like, didn't. Are you gonna? Don't was there a follow up to that or? No, she, it's uh, it was, yeah, she just it's it, 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 a little delayed. Sometimes. Wasn't up there for me with movies. But I'd be okay if you want to put it in the C category because again, it was it was no, at I least said, better than I these said three. As a uh, slasher, I put Creep in D. As a slasher, just because I'm putting them in D doesn't mean they really suck. It just means maybe I don't agree that they should be a slasher. Yeah. Rated slasher movies, like we all know, Gattaca is the best movie of all time, but it would be in the D list because it's not really a slasher. Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah, we put it in D. That's fine. I'll be good. Let's see. What else we got? Sorry. Maniac Cop, but I have to be honest with you. I have not seen Maniac Cop. Me I know what it is. I, just you know, I haven't it. seen that one either. So, guys in the chat, let us know if you've seen it. If not, I might have to. I don't know where to place it then. D. I wouldn't know either. D. Like, I know what it is. <laughs> I know the premise of the movie. I mean, for fuck's sake, the title of his Mani Maniac Cop, if it gets anything above a D, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we can go with D. A couple, we'll just put it in D. If anybody in the that. chat would like to put that one higher, let us know where you rank it, and we will definitely... Can, we'll, we'll put it up higher because honestly I mean I'll put it at a B just because I don't know what it is but I'll go with whatever you guys want to want to do I'm good we should it. have watched all these movies we watched the I fucking know. Halo I, TV I, show we could watch anything I, we I suffered know. through that for we fucking 20 hours <laughs> I know we, I was, we did bad at our homework we did no I was trying to get to a lot of these but I just did not get to watch all of them I have because most of these I did see, but there was a few I did not get to. I can't wait to not watch Halo season three. It's going to be awesome. Oh, they're giving it a season three. Oh, I don't know. I'm assuming. I didn't. Even, I didn't watch the final episode. I'm not interested. <laughs> Louis said I'm boycotting that shit. Yeah. Yeah, I hope they do. We don't need another season three. You know, we'll talk. Let's finish this ranking system that I can talk to you about some. Oh, Bruce like Campbell's in Maniac Maniac Cop. I might have to give it a watch. See, oh, so, see, I was gonna put it up there, but just because I hadn't seen it, I figured if a lot of people picked it, it had to be good. So I was gonna put it up there somewhere around the at least the B or the C. Bruce Campbell is very powerful. Yes, he is. So what about the collector? I mean, for me, I'm as far as what I think it was going to be, it's going to be at least an A. But what do you guys think? I mean, I'm for me, that I started watching the first one like a few years ago. I turned that shit off because I wasn't interested. So maybe I'll just eliminate myself. I would put it at a D, but it seems like you guys enjoyed it. I don't think I even watched the second one, so. Second one's 
Definitely better. They upped the stakes in the second one. Mm-hmm. So now we got Black Christmas, Sleepaway Camp, Slumber Party Max Massacre, and April Fool's Day. Oh, well, man. technically, by your criteria, nobody dies in April Fool's Day. Yeah. So yes, they do. Be a D no, they don't. When the chick reveals herself and then actually starts killing people at the end oh, of the movie. Yeah. Yes. yeah, I forgot. That's such a dumb movie. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so good. <laughs> Wait, was it a loved double it. April Fool's? Though? I forget. Which Did she actually like, get murdered or something? Or was it a triple April Fool's? I think it was might have been a double. I got to check it again. Nope. She got a few people before she got got herself, allegedly, until there was a sequel. April Fool's Day was, uh, I'd say, D. But it's good, campy fun. Exactly. I, I would put it at least with a C. I could go mm. with that. Yeah, I'd go with C, too, then. Yeah. Put it on the C. What are you guys in the chat again? Let us know in the chat if, as we're going through if you guys feel differently, have a different take. We can certainly change this up a bit as we go. Not Chucky, though. Chucky stays as is. If you got a problem with that, you got a problem with me. <laughs> <laughs> So now we got Black Christmas, Sleepaway Camp, and Slumber Party Massacre. Um, Black Christmas, maybe a. Mm, you know what? I never saw maybe. the original, but never saw it. So. Well, see, and I'm thinking of the newer one probably too. So I didn't see the original. Well, it's the whole the phone calls coming from inside the house. That's yeah, but it was the movie. first one to do that shit, so that makes it somewhat special. Not the remake, though. And it, it actually is considered one of the, like, old G slasher movies. And Mr. Von Stugel gives Sleep Away a B or C. Give, I'd go with that. Sound pretty I would good. give it a C. Raven, oh, yeah. I would give that shit an A. Sleep Away can't B or C. That I'm good with a C. Me. And then, so Black Christmas Party Massacre. Both of those in a C, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I think that'd be, that would be the best thing to do. Yeah, I could go with that. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, we'll go with those C. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to be fair and consider everything, even if I don't like it. <laughs> to be fair... I think we got ourselves a pretty good list here. Not too bad. What's up, Snuggy Jr.? Welcome. What's up, man? Good. Did you stop with hey, Danny? Snug. Like, we're done. We're done with the Dannys. Snugs, get him. Thank you, Snugs. Yes. That's Danny. No Dannys in the chat. We don't want Danny. We're. We, we're, we're That's why you're my favorite bear, Snuggy. <laughs> we're all about things that Danny is not about. Yeah, list not. I think that list is bad. good. Not bad at all. Yes, this is Benda, our co-host, panelist, been on with us for a few. Hopefully, he'll stick around if we don't run him off too much. As long as Chucky stays in S tier, we're good. <laughs> Well, I guess we know what to do if we need to run you off. Well, we know what Snuggy's answer is going to be. He's just going to be like, it's all aliens. It's all those aliens. The best one is aliens. Well, actually, uh, if Texas Chainsaw was on the list, even though I hate that, I would have to put it at an A. Because it is iconic. You got to give it yeah, that. Yeah, so I would I. give it an A. Yeah, I'd give it an A even though I'm not. I yep. don't appreciate it, but yeah. It's I don't iconic. appreciate it either. <laughs> we don't appreciate it. Except the video game's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Let's see. 
eat some of the yeah, other with this list. Right this there. looks good. Yeah, it was pretty good, guys. And again, let us know if you guys yep, you know feel it. differently about the rankings that we did tonight. We you know we got most I think most of the good ones at the top somewhere, somewhere up there. It was a little, little discrepancies here and there, but. Yes, <laughs> best on is aliens. Yes, it's aliens. Yes. Always aliens. <laughs> Always. Chucky's an alien. Fun. Halloween, Jason, Michael Myers, they're all aliens. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, yeah alien demons are all the same. What's the difference? Right, guys, this was fun. And so, I really guys, ranking what is your overall you favorite slasher? Child's play. You, I know Louis says Chucky. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Scarlet, oh, what would be God. yours out of the list? I mean, I'm going to go with Freddy just because I've always liked Freddy. So I'll go with Freddy. Yeah, but how do you just go with Freddy? You got to pick an exact movie. You, I well, guess then part it's the part one and the. um. Oh, was it um now i can't i swear to god i cannot remember the name of it. it's the last one when it's like the movie within the movie um the new oh, night freddy's new yeah west craven's new nightmare yes that's actually scream before it became scream almost i feel like it has real scream vibes to it yeah i know i like those two were my favorites and then dream warriors was good too i like freddy versus jason not the best eh, but it's that one's awesome eh, no no it's, eh, eh. <sighs> Uh, you just don't like good movies. Uh, don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm starting. To, I'm starting to question <laughs> our friendship. <laughs> you're over here ranking Chucky at the top, and you're like, well, I, I still uh, am not convinced that you even saw Chucky. To be honest, I let it go before. You saw him a long time ago. I think you need to rewatch them. And if you I still have don't seen think them all, and I haven't even seen them, yeah. Within but the last like five years, I don't think you have. I have even the crappy one where he goes to military school. Yes, right. I've that one should. It. That's part three. That's, <laughs> yes, that's part everything three. Everything that you fucking said so far, you name didn't name one scene from the first or second one, which those are the best <laughs> movies. You're always talking about the fucking TV show or the seed of Chucky. You're not talking about the good movies at all. You're just saying you saw them. I don't think. I think you, maybe you saw them, but you need to watch them again. I think you need to do a little maybe refresher. Just, I, I know them, but I can't mention the good scenes because then that would give you validation. <laughs> so I'm mentioning all the crap scenes. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I know all. all the first and second one, but I saw the shitty one. No, I do like, the, like what was it or at the end where you know he's at the factory and fucking Freddy right, that, like, Oh, that's him. that's the second See, one. There you go. I do yeah, know. Yeah, but that's right. the only part that you remember from it. You gotta sit oh, down. My God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta sit down and take <laughs> notes. I want a movie summary on my oh, desk my by Monday because I'm not convinced all you actually right. made all, all into it. Stream. <laughs> oh, you it'll be on the test scarlet it. it'll be on yep, the test yep. it'll be on the fucking test <laughs> I'll, I'll post it for you in your chat <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness let's see freddy versus jason was yeah, it was funny but i didn't like it as far as like it, it wasn't scary to me it was kind of just yeah awful. it wasn't scary i'll give you that it was not scary. actually none of these movies are scary in my opinion Oh, Freddy, Freddy versus scary. Jason certainly wasn't. Freddy itself was a little scary. It tried to be. Oh, Freddy! For the premise of Freddy was pretty scary. You ain't going to sleep ever again. Yeah. And then I didn't like how they was like, I don't know. There was just something about Freddy versus Jason that just did not end up sitting well in the end with me. Just, I'm probably the comedy over reaching and then the fact that you just take him out i never liked the fact that they took jason out of crystal lake to begin with yeah it's, but you know out of I know all that's the not scenarios, that movie's fault. i'm just saying like it just continued to it's the fuckery i don't like it yeah but that's what freddie and jason kind of turned into is like it had to be somewhat funny and have the one-liners and it's hard to get like a freddie versus jason how do you set that up i think the setup was actually you know it could have been worse <laughs> I wanted it to be better than it was. I wanted I actually wanted to enjoy the movie. 
So I do agree with you that like as far as like how they set it up, it's I guess it was it was just the end somewhere around the middle ish or so it just got really bad for me and then the ending was alright. Did you see him coming out of the water? He got his head and stuff. Like it was it wasn't terrible. It just wasn't eh. I don't know. It just didn't sit well in the end with the future or something about it. I can't explain it. I'm sorry. I'm just well, you know what I kind of hated about it, even though it, it was about to do it, but it didn't. Like I, I was thinking they were gonna somehow make Jason the good guy or some shit, which they didn't do. Really, well, they kind of so. did. Yeah, they kind of did, but they didn't go too far. Because they, they were making Freddy like the baddest of the bad guys, I guess. Or well, see, Jason of, is just like he, Jason. He, yeah, Jason is like a shark. He kills whatever. Like he doesn't care. Freddy's actually smart and awesome and he has the one-liners so they had to make him i don't know well i they mean freddy some... should be badass I, I mean i just especially once they made jason look like a little little bitch that's probably where that was probably the part where it started and i get it because they were trying to give freddy when did they make jason everything. look like a little bitch when they put it he gets um, he Freddy's trying to fuck him up and he can't figure it out, and he like slashes the pipe oh, over the that, water. I hated that it, too. Yeah, in no kid. movie and is I he get afraid of the water. No, no, no. That in every it, but it just in, eh. fr- fucking in in fucking Jason goes to Manhattan. He does the breaststroke to Manhattan. He he goes on a cruise ship and does the breaststroke through water. He's not afraid of water in any other movie except for that one. <laughs> so that was pretty dumb. So yeah, somewhere around that part of the movie <laughs> is where I started getting. Yeah, in. they. I admit I didn't like that part either, but I guess they had to. Yeah, it seemed like that was their way to like, because kind of, otherwise, to be fair, Freddie wouldn't have been able to win. I mean, nobody was going to win. To be fair, in the end, but well, actually, there was to no be way fair. for Freddie to really get a, a comeuppance over Jason. That was the only way to really. I Show bet. Well, at the end, when they're both in the real world, I agree. But all throughout the whole movie, Freddy, it was the opposite, though, because Freddy comes in your dreams and he's he's unstoppable. But, but in the real world, he wasn't able Jason, to really hurt Jason in Jason's dreams. The only way he really hurt Jason was when he, like, basically made him scared. He took away his power, made him a little kid. Yeah, which because is Jason, dumb. once Jason figured out kind of what was going on, he was kicking the shit out of Freddy. In yeah, the dream world as well. Like they just they, there was no they, yeah, they were almost was, like equal. And so Freddy, once he did that, it made Freddy kind of get a little bit more power over him. But even when Jason was kicking his ass in the dream world, if you can't you can't kick his uh, Freddy's ass in the dream world anyways. Because... I know, but there was no like nobody was winning. So yeah. Freddy's like once like Freddy's like, God damn, I can't get this guy to stop. Like, what am I gonna do? He's taking my kills, he's taking my power, I need to take his powers. So he in, like he didn't intentionally also, take his power, but the movie did it did that in a way so that he could take back power because he was taking all of Freddy's kills. They also do Freddy dirty in that movie too because he got like one kill throughout that whole movie, and Jason has like yeah. five hundred kills. Which, well, say he was taking was all of Freddy's fair. power because yeah. Freddy's yeah. power was through them fearing him, and they weren't fearing him. They weren't thinking about Freddy; they were thinking about Jason. Well, they were so, though, but Freddy wanted to kill him though. That's the thing. Yeah, he was trying to use Jason to get their fear drawn back up, and then he was trying to control Jason, but he realized he couldn't control him, and then they started right. battling, and yeah, it got bad. <laughs> At least it was better than Alien versus Predator, though. Yeah, Muppets Take that. Manhattan was better. Um, Snuggy, I agree. Better than Jason Takes Manhattan? That's got to be the worst Jason movie. Is. <laughs> Manhattan one. That one is <laughs> fucking is so ridiculous. Oh he's literally God. like gra- he I, grabs I onto the cruise ship. What? Him to space. <laughs> is that you a have cru- to go to space? You know you've messed up. It's literally where was that cruise ship? Was that going? How does Camp Crystal Lake connect to fucking uh, New York Harbor? <laughs> I forget where the cruise ship was, but that whole freaking scenario was ridiculous. Yeah, see, that's where I, I didn't get into some of those franchises. I, I mean, I would probably hear about it or watch a clip here and there, but I could never sit down and watch that. It gets that. real dumb. I couldn't do it to myself. I'm sorry. I just, I can't. No, but that's, I mean, like you said, that happens with some of these after they are on their, what, after the third, fourth, fifth, twentieth movie? Yeah, they need to do a reboot. 
a re re reboot. Well, yeah, guys, this is pretty fun. I mean, I like I like me some good horror movies. Slashers is all right. I don't I don't know which. I mean, we kind of said what our favorites are. I don't know what everybody in the chat. I know you let us know in Twitter. But you let us know again if you didn't what your favorite slashers are tonight that we got to go through or ones that we didn't even get to talk about. Let us know what you guys think. Always interested in what you guys have to say. It was a very stimulating conversation. <laughs> As yes, always. I didn't see Freddy versus Jason, so I have no opinion on it. Yeah. Voodoo Cafe says the movie should not have told us the origins of Jason of Jason and Freddy's evil, which is hell that tells the viewer nobody wins. Yeah, well, of course, yeah, nobody won in the end, which, I mean, it was just, that's what I said, I mean, I kind of wanted one, somebody to win. I don't know, the movie kind of, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't appreciate it as much as I'm sure others did. It's not terrible, I just, yeah, man, you did it, you did my boy wrong, you turned him into a little child. Yeah, I was not a fan of that part either. Even though I was rooting for, <laughs> I was rooting for Freddie the I whole was time. Too, but I, mean, I was still just like, what? Yeah, yeah, what you don't it? disrespect him like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, man, that's actually that's the moral unfair. of the whole thing tonight. The disrespect being thrown at Chucky and the disrespect to Jason in the freaking Freddy vs. Jason movie. It's just disrespectful. I will not stand for it. Yeah, I mean, I, yes, the disrespect is real nowadays. And even off subject, the disrespect for Master Chief is real. And if they, oh they continue my God, that's beyond disrespect. Three, I don't know how much more we can take. It's, mm -hmm. It was it was bad. I mean, yes, we did get the flood. Thank God we finally made it to the flood. Did we? What, that was in the last episode? Oh, I'm not yeah, watching it was in the last shit. one. But I don't know. And this is just, this, I don't know how many people actually watched it. And I don't blame them for yeah, not. The fucking writers of that but show are the like. The way they presented the flood to us gave me very Resident Evil movie lab breakout vibes. Ugh. It made it somewhat no, like at first it was like spores, but then there were the creatures sort of kind of, but they didn't really mutate completely. They showed a slight mutation, but it was like this little appendage thing kind of broke out, but that was about like nothing like you see in the games. Of course. Why? They, why would it be like anything like the games? Why would they do that? You know? <laughs> oh my God. It was like I said, I just can't believe they let that chick call herself the demon. That right there. I was. I, uh, I mean, I, I laughed because I was almost just dumbfounded. Literally exactly what we expect from modern shit. But you know what I'm saying, though? Like, I was, it was, it was so bad that I just, I felt like the Joker and I understood. It, it's why it's literally, it, it's like, got I understood that now. Like, you, you have just, to laugh <laughs> at it. It's so fucking predictable and ridiculous. It's like, it's funny. It's a fucking comedy. It was bad. I, know. I saw Sorry. that coming I, from a mile I know, this away. This was supposed to be all slashers, but I can't help it, guys. They, they <laughs> I called that shit. She should have really been Master Chief anyways. Who cares? Might as she's well. She's Master Chief. She's the Arbiter. Yeah. She's everything all in one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she's the whole... She's a Spartan somehow. I don't know. She's gonna... Oh. They try to kill off... Alright, and look. I understand <laughs> that Chief at some point gets to kind of like touch and get um, Cortana into him, but that's to do with his suit with the upgrades and stuff. He ain't had no upgrades. I don't remember it's, that. It's actually in the games more than it is in the lore. This is a I game where the they games. pick and choose little like bullshit that they don't understand and try to add it into the show. He he would be able to. I think I forget it was in the later games. Basically, be able. This is after he got. Like I said, this was well after a lot of shit has happened. So his suit's been upgraded. You know, basically when he's, we start getting grappling hooks and shit, you know, the suit upgrades. Yeah. In the the show though, we haven't seen no upgrades. Right? He ain't even had his suit like all season. <laughs> so all of a sudden, he could just go to the the Dagum alien ship where Cortana has now put herself after being stepped on. Her little chip was stepped on. It was terrible. I tried to kill her off by stepping on her. Dear God. <laughs> <That's my> God. <laughs> <laughs> he 
just puts his arm in like, you know, it's an alien ship, so it's not like a it's it's a hologram kind of thing. He just kind of puts it in there. And it's just like you see the blue glow go into his suit and into him. And I'm just like, oh. Yeah, well, of course, that he is. Saved, <laughs> and he had like three seconds to save her because they're in the ship that's like going down. You know, it's already just des- destroyed in space and it's about to crash on Halo. So they survived. Stupid. Oh, yeah, and then about- I, they, I they kill. They do. I think I kill. I believe they kill Kaya off the the female Spartan, the one the the blonde the hair, the insignificant changed, one, the one that changed her hair color or whatever. Oh, I thought she's the one that became Master Chief. Uh, well, apparent. Well, she t- decides to be um suicide. Oh, lady. she sacrifices herself. Sacrifice herself to take out the big ship. Does she actually do it though, or will she? Be I mean, I think in? she's. I think she's dead. I think so. They kind of show her body though, still kind of floating in space. So you know how that goes. They still show the body. You never know. She'd be like season three somehow. <laughs> like how she made it to like she's yeah. like she's on an alien ship, right? And she's about to basically she's gonna crash that alien ship into the bigger alien ship, you know, so that that bigger alien ship will stop taking out their the UNS you know ships. It's, well, she's it's, a strong, independent woman, so I'm sure it's going to take a lot more than a few explosions in outer space to keep her down. And we really only get like about a maybe, and I'm being generous, 30 second scene of Master Chief fighting in his armor. Like, real, like, actually, I mean, yeah, he did a little bit with the Arbiter later, but it ain't even really a fight. It's a little bit, but as far as like when they own the ship or whatever, it, you know, that you can't even really that's see solid at There's a lot proof. of smoke. And how bad that show is because i like i made it that far and i i have no desire to watch that episode i don't care about it i'm not wasting my time i'm gonna go watch child's play again Booty cafe says what do you guys think about michael myers versus jason you think that would go to the bank oh jason wins first jason, round jason yeah I give it to Jay. Well, I mean, they're both like what? They both come back alive. See, that's why I hate that anyway. Like, how? I don't know. Well, you know, is. Jason. Jason is unstoppable. Michael Myers. I don't even know what his fucking deal is. I think you can kill him, but like, you got to make sure you shoot him a few times. But Jason and the later Jasons, you could just unload a machine gun on him, and that's it. Has no effect. See, that's why I would say Jason. I know Jason 100% is supposed to be able to come back. I don't know Michael Myers. I thought he's supposed to be, like, human, but then they do stuff that makes me think he's not human, so I'm like, I don't really understand. Right. Right. So, I would go with Jason, but that's just based off what I believe I know of Michael Myers. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch it, because I swear he was supposed to just be human. Yeah, but then they switched it, and they made him something with this coven and because he had this like symbol and he was now he got yeah, like the powers of the devil stupid. and so real he became he, so he's like it ain't gonna Jason be he ain't gonna be easy somewhat sort but of. he's definitely not human after the second movie and not the one season of the witch that didn't even have michael myers in it i'm talking about the original two movies yeah, with but, uh what's well, her let me name stop you right there i thought season of the wish was pretty good actually it's not bad no i'm just saying because he wasn't in it so you can't consider that yeah, really yeah. like do you know why he wasn't in it they were they were planning to make halloween like come out and like saw every year but it was going to be a different movie every time with not michael yep. myers in it and that's what they tried and failed miserably so that's why one of the yep, halloween was going to be an anthology michael myers yep Good knowledge. You are good correct. Knowledge. That is correct. The more you know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Up, we need our well, the more you know, Scarlet. Look, I ain't playing no more clips tonight, Dana. <laughs> 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 no more clips. You know, I think there might be oh, something. Oh, that to even do counts? Put, oh, okay. I don't know, but I know I don't Some play. of the wrestling guys <laughs> that I watch, like they'll put uh or they'll just maybe show pictures. You already done that, but they'll show pictures or they'll just like almost have like a watermark on the video. I don't know if that works, but I've seen some videos. No, we did a lot. I mean, we, we we played a lot. Normally, I try to keep them 30 seconds and only do... I try to keep it around... Well, handful. you put Dana in charge of the clip and she's making a minute and 30 seconds. No, I told her I told her under a minute. It's my yeah, fault. I yeah, just... Yeah. I should... 
And it's not just that we did have a lot. All of my clips were like like under seconds. And plus the subject matter, I'm sure that didn't help. Um, I mean, there it could have been a number of things. To be fair. To be fair. I'm not sure. Look, look, man, I'm even scared to play my outro. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) But no. Um. Yeah, man. I don't know. Michael Myers and I just don't. I'm not into him. I'm not into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre either, but I mean, I appreciate them for what they are. And it's honestly the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I would, I don't mind as much. It's not my favorite, but I can, I can get behind the story a little bit. It's kind of creepy. Because Michael Myers infuriates me for some reason. See, I don't like Texas Chainsaw because it's disgusting and it's too real too. Like that could be a real family. I feel. Yeah, that's why Jason I said I can so appreciate it more because it's real. It seems more real. But yeah, Jason, Jason's cool. Michael Myers is. Uh, I just can't get behind him. I don't know. Maybe it's because I didn't watch too much past the first like two. I will say the Michael Myers theme, the song is pretty powerful. They got I did that watch right. The recent ones, though, and those weren't good. Oh my god! The recent yeah. ones don't. I mean, what you get say? You've going. ended it. You would think that's the oh. end of it, but then they didn't. They're doing like a reboot Halloween again. Ends, and then it was like another Halloween, and I think like two. It was like two after that. They fucking Halloween is so fucking terrible. They went like Halloween one through fucking eight. And then they did Halloween H2O, which that was the one where it's going back. That's the uh, sequel to the first one now. They're erasing everything after the first movie. They did mm-hmm. that, and then they did Halloween Resurrection with fucking Buster Rhymes, and that was still continuing the same story. And then they were, they were like, okay, Halloween Resurrection was fucking terrible. We're going to do a reboot of everything with the Rob Zombie shit now. They had two of those. And then they're like, oh, fuck, that's stupid too. Rob Zombies go- actually wasn't that bad. The first, Yeah, actually they weren't. Um, Rob Zombie's actually pretty cool. Then they went and did another Halloween H2O. That, that's this line of movies where they went back and said, you know what? Halloween H2O and all those shit, that doesn't matter either. We're going back. This is the, the official sequel to the first movie again. So they did that twice. They went back and said that this is the, the actual sequel to the first movie. Mm-hmm. And now they're, I think they're going to do it again. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is, but they're rebooting it again. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't watch. Too, I didn't watch too many in the middle section. I watched a few in the horrible. beginning and then the, some of the last ones. And I tried, tried so hard. No, yeah, it's not even worth a try. It is worth a try watching the last one that came out just to see how fucking terrible it is. But other than that, if you're not in the mood for a bad movie, like it is shockingly, shockingly bad. <laughs> It's so bad that it's, yeah. like, funny. It's like, what the fuck is happening? Like, you're going to have to rewind it a few times and be like, wait a minute, am I seeing this right now? Like, is this movie not supposed to be a full-blown comedy? Yeah. No, it was... The last one was interesting, to say the least. See, Buddha Cafe says, do you prefer a slasher movie where they tell you why they don't die or leave it a mystery? Hmm. Oh, let's see. They tell you why Wait, they don't I don't die understand the question. Or leave it a mystery. Do you mean like if the killer like is like how they how the killer dies himself? I feel like Yeah, Man I think he means like count. do you prefer knowing why the killer can't die or do you like it being a mystery to where it's you don't know why oh, yeah, this, yeah. the killer just keeps coming back and coming back. Oh, somewhere in the middle. I mean, I don't mind there being a little mystery to it. But it still needs to be a mystery that you can kind of, either you come up with, like if they're going to do the mystery, you know, it's got to be something still somewhat you can come up with in your mind believable. That's actually but, a good question. Oh, man, I'm trying to think. Because most of the ones I think of, they kind of tell you, the ones I like, I kind of know. What what's up with the killer? Well, see, like Freddy Krueger's was good, but they don't go too far into it. If they go too far into it, then it gets, especially after the fact, like right now, if they came up for a reason why Jason doesn't die, it would be probably stupid. I can't think of anything that would actually be good. So they should just leave it as somehow he's just magical and he doesn't die. You heard he's a grudge spirit, and, and there's grudge spirits that can never be um taken away. 
there are places. Yeah, but that are if they the if they spirit. did a movie explaining why he's a grudge spirit or some shit, like we just assume that he's a grudge spirit. That's good enough for me. <laughs> <You just laughs> see, I mean, all me. all the clues are there. It's pretty much. I thought it was pretty much said. I don't know. No, you know, it you, wasn't. You didn't know what was going on Pet Cemetery. You don't count anyway. <laughs> it wasn't said at all. You just. It was not said that he's a grudge spirit. No, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna really. All you right, make you me have know. to do more research. You're gonna have to watch 20 do. movies for them not to explain anything about how he's. I'm gonna show you like 12 bulletin points. You're like, no, you made that up. That's not even there. I'm like, look, it's clearly there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just show you like 20 clips. <laughs> he said it right here. Now, when did I say that on Pet Sandwich? I didn't say that. What are you talking about? Not one time. I understood the whole thing. No, you did not understand anything. I like to ask questions sometimes because the movie doesn't explain it. No, the movie did explain it. You just didn't get it. What? No. What What instance are you talking about? See? Name one Name one specific time where I you said You didn't that. even understand the movie was was telling the story. That probably. part I didn't get. Well, who the fuck keeps track of the freaking Pet Cemetery timeline? Like, anybody gives a crap. It's a prequel. <laughs> what did you... <laughs> I knew it was a prequel. It's, it's, I didn't know that the that guy's was the old name, guy. Like, he was... Oh, he was so iconic. How do you not know? So you didn't know. You didn't even that that the whole that right there set you from not that understanding. How does that because even change anything about the movie? You didn't, even, you didn't even understand what was going on with the people and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I understand okay. the premise of Pet Cemetery. Yes, I did like Hellraiser, Bitey. Hellraiser's pretty good. <laughs> but I think that yeah, we didn't put that one on the list. But yeah, Hellraiser was good. I don't think that's slasher though. That doesn't count, does it? <laughs> it's like no, because it's deep demonic. Yeah, but, no, they but used the to, fucking uh, they actually the Cenobites all qualify to be a slasher because they were a previously human. If you but the if original, you follow but, the story, Scarlet, yeah, if you the, follow, I know yeah. they are. I know yeah. them. So that even <laughs> even the original Pinhead was thing, too. He was too. Pinhead was originally human too. Yeah, Scarlet, you can't even follow the story, Scarlet. Oh, Jeez, sure we're confused. Get the <laughs> <laughs> but the scariest Cenobite was always Chatterbox to me. He was yeah. more scary than fucking Pinhead. Yeah, Just those are good. Around. And the story behind the, the centibites. The, the the oh. Like, you already know, I don't care what goes on the list of slashers. I didn't make up the criteria, and I didn't care. I put them all on there. I, I put Leprechaun on there. <laughs> but no, I forget who was originally human. Because I guess I was thinking of the fact that it's it seems all demonic. But yeah, see, I, I'd put them all on the list. You're the one that was don't like movies. You hate them all. <laughs> you hate everything. I'm a harsh critic. I'm welcoming. <laughs> I welcome them all on the list. You're the destroyer of worlds. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not a harsh critic. You're a hey, destroyer of worlds. You guys are being way too gentle with these movies. Somebody needs to be around to destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to be. So Louis like, no, fuck that. Nope. Nope. <laughs> D, 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 D. All D. <laughs> I didn't say all D. I put, I was very, very fair. I'm the fairest no, you one here, I think. You guys. You're fucking putting Freddy in the fucking D because you don't like, you never saw, you never even saw it probably because you're just scared of it. Yes, I have. Right. I have sat through every movie at least once. I just never got around to watching Freddy versus Jason. You, okay. I was about to say, you literally just said you never saw Freddy versus Jason. Yep. That one I never oh, saw. And Ghost was good too. Is that considered a slasher? Oh, I would have loved that one to be a slasher. Maybe we should just do uh, horror movie rankings next week. Just all the best horror movies. Oh my god! This yeah, I want to do it, but I'm scared <laughs> because the amount of movies is. Man, my list alone is gonna have like t at least ten movies. How about this? We each make a list of our ten favorite movies and put them on a list, and then we congregate beforehand and see which ones overlap, and then just make it a list from that. You know what I mean? Uh, all of our ten favorite horror movies. And then we d we do it like that. All right, well, I have I'd, to I'd be down. the chat there. The chat has the. I'm I'm still gonna post a Twitter post about it, and I'm gonna have to add the the chats in there. So we'll have at least twenty five movies. Sounds good to me. Maybe fifty. We'll see. <laughs> see how many people how many people post. You never know. <laughs>
You never know. We may all have and the same thing. We're only going to have images, people. No more clips. <laughs> no more clips. <laughs> Scared Dana away. No, I'm just saying. I, we will have more clips. They just will just be very selective in our clipping. Especially Actually, knowing. Or I'm throwing this out there too. What if we do it? Uh, yeah, I, I, did pick, I did pick a lot of bloody ones. <laughs> Or if we do the best horror movie by the decade, like everything from 1990 to 2000 will be its own category, and we could rank those, and then the 2010s. Just throwing that out there. That might be a good You want to do like a weekly thing where we start with like, I, I have to start with at least the 80s. I can't want to go too much further back past before the It's 80s. your podcast, so you do whatever Mostly because like. I probably haven't seen yeah, it, or you, if I have seen it, it's going to be a remake from the 80s. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to go... Oh, we the did exorcist, 80s, I think, was 90s, like, the exorcist 2000. was in the no, 70s. No, the 80s though. is a good start. You got to start in the 80s. Yeah, but you got to add the exorcist in there, though. I mean, that's Come on now. Right, was see, it? I thought it was early 80s. I think it's 70s. Yeah, we'll discuss it. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll talk. We can start the 80s, up, but add the super famous ones in there. Look, you know what? We'll figure it out. We'll yeah, get yeah. There. We'll, we'll talk. You. We'll discuss. Um, yep, 1978. All right. See. Exorcist was 1978. So that one's in the 70s. So I mean, if we go to the 70s, I don't mind doing the 70s, but it's going to be a very quick. I mean, we could add the 70s to the 80s. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just add add the famous yeah, ones. Yeah, you might as well do it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we'll, we, can, we can do that. We'll start. We'll go by decade favorite horror movies for the next. Well, we had to do it for a couple streams. You down? I'm down for whatever. But it is past my I'm bedtime down. now. No. So. We're about to wrap it up. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up. And we are getting ready to head out. But again, thank you guys. You so old much man. You are such an yeah. old man. Deal with it. You are such well, a young we, we old man. You. You, know, you still hang out after for a minute. I got to talk to you after. You're going to hang me? out. Yes, you're going to hang out. Uh, in the for a yeah. All right, we're going to close it down. <laughs> 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 Thank you guys for hanging with us. Thank you, Dana. Vinny, you sticking around whether you like it or not. <laughs> we're going to see you all on the next one, guys. Bye. See ya.